Hello, hello everybody, and we are going to be continuing our adventures here in Pokemon Colosseum. Last time we just had an utter blast with this game, and uh, while I did get lost for a little bit, I, it just hooked me. So we're going to continue and see where else we get to go. We went for what it feels like basically to the end of what I would call the prologue because we should be nearing the point where we should be able to purify our shadow Pokemon, which should come after beating that dastardly mirror bee. And so far we've only missed out on one shadow Pokemon, the Rimmeraid. Let me check my Pokemon. Our Pokemon are all ready to go. And let's see, because I think most of my Shadow Pokemon should basically be there. Yeah, they're all there except for Slugmo, which we'll just throw out a few times before we get to Mirror B. Well, let's fight. Hmm? Oh, I get it. You guys weren't new recruits, but just intruders too? That guy earlier was too weak for words. How about you? Are you going to keep me amused? I'm going to, uh... Keep you broken and, and in hospital. How did we teleport to the middle of town? We were on a building. Let me guess, the Quillfish is a shadow Pokemon for this one. We are not throwing Slugma out because he would die immediately. Slugma would be obliterated. It's like every single fight there is a shadow Pokemon. Well, Quillfish time. Hmm. We'll just try to whittle down their normal mons and then see what happens with the quillfish. Because I don't think we need to worry about, like, at least typings from quillfish. I don't really care about getting a water type. My crocdaw. Or is that? I forget its name. The Totodile Evolution. We already have water type on our team. Why do all the fish just die when they go back to their Pokeballs? It's horrifying. And then a Lanoon. Lanoon platoon upon the moon. And once again, we'll just annihilate the Lanoon and leave the Quillfish out to uh, try to whittle down and hopefully not get a, a critical. Like, I won't be horribly sad if we kill the quillfish. But I will be annoyed, because my brain's like, no, my opportunity to get this Pokemon is gone. No. How dare you water my dog. How, how dare you get a critical. He didn't even do that much damage. At least we know that poor old Slugma would have just been obliterated if we dared to present him in this fight. Then again, I would have, like, swapped out Umbreon for Slugma, I think. So, he probably wouldn't have been critical, but he still would have probably taken a lot of damage. Speaking of a lot of damage, that's a lot of damage. You... Sand attack. Yeah. I am a fool. Well, I keep nomming, we'll... I guess we'll throw Slugma out to die. Ever so slightly. I don't think dying in this game raises their, like, closed off heart status. Well, it was basically right. You would have died no matter what. Hit that attack through the sand attack. And got poisoned. Pain. <laughs> the synchronization has no effect on the quillfish. Hmm. And then I guess yawn. Never mind, Slugma's going to die today. Hi, Slugma! We miss you! 
If it somehow lived, I would have been that would have been hilarious. Well, guess we'll send out Flappy, just cause. Cause why not? I suppose. <laughs> Sadness. I kept talking about there being a critical hit. Slugma died for nothing. Slugma's just like, why are we still here? Just to suffer? Th that was fun! Why was it fun? Aren't you supposed to be a guard? Battling you was fun, so that's good enough for me. If you want to go through, go right ahead. Alright. Hmm. I'm trying to think which would be faster. Eh, going through the elevator, down... And around probably is faster to the Pokemon diddly da than like it is kind of amusing that they give you an elevator back to that point but they cut you off from it if you like leave so you have to go through the mini dungeon just walking but at the same time you kind of get there <laughs> faster to the save point and everything Also, I just realized that, in a way, the Shadow Pokemon kind of act as additional difficulty because you're trying not to destroy them. You're trying to keep them alive so you can catch them, which means you take more damage than you would have otherwise. That's actually a kind of interesting thing to think about. Because it's not difficulty in the traditional sense, and it's entirely possible a player will just plow on through not caring at all, but... It's interesting. Alright, so here's a cave. Are we gonna run to Mirror B? Sooner than later? Weird little machine in a corner. Oh, is this a full-on dungeon? Huh. This is a big old room, so I wasn't no no I wasn't knowing what to expect. I got some hyper potions. I'm gonna quickly check to the left just to make sure there's nothing there. We need to learn from Duking's house. I'm going to assume that the stairs mean way to go ahead. But I don't know. Ether Huzzah. So if we use too much of a move, we can do it better. Yay, you're finally here! This floor is my territory! I can't let you through! You're not even guarding the stairwell that well. Street performer Symes. What are you gonna do? Throw out a Mr. Mime? No, an Anoranth. You look horrifying in 3D. Shadow Pokemon? No? Oh, wait. We need to wait for me to throw mine out. Then Shadow Pokemon? Not sure if I'd use Anorith, but... Ah, well... It looks like it could be an interesting Pokemon. Blast it. It is oddly horrifying with its skittering and its feathers. And its flailing as it's in eternal pain, I guess. Time to nom. Fly away, little Lotad. Fly away. With your beady little eyes. It's scurrying, truly, was astonishing. Blows up, blows up Anorith with mind. And level up for the boy! And what's going to replace it? Oh wait, we have... I thought you had three. Am I blind? Am I dumb? I thought you had an additional Pokemon to throw out there. Lo, I'm but a fool. Oopsie, I lost. I swear, everybody seem Everybody looks like they have a mental breakdown when they lose in this game. You're a surprise, but I'm not telling you where Mirror B's waiting. 
Just realized mirror B is only one R. I don't know why that that, that disturbs me. Have to explore the entire place, cause Duking's house haunts me. Well, come here and fight me, dude. What's going on here? I heard there was one intruder, but there's obviously two of you. It's because she doesn't count as an intruder. Chaser Maze. I just realized this guy has a tiny little goatee. Also, I realized the shadow Pokemon is always on the right. Like, when we're facing the enemy trainer, the shadow Pokemon's always to the right, so... Like, in this case, the coughing would be the shadow Pokemon. Blows up coughing with mind. Goodbye, coughing. You are now dead. Remember in the old Generation 1 sprites where the skull and crossbones image was above coughing's face? Those were weird days. Goodbye, Routes. Nom nom nom. Like, if I'm able to get a, a Routes of my own, immediate. But at the same time, I already have Espeon as my psychic. Profound sadness. I like Gardevoir. But I also like my Evolutions. You bastard. I think I have an antidote I can use. Double bastard, he survived. Not the Mega Drain. The drain that is Mega. Luckily, didn't get much. <laughs> if it didn't Mega Drain, it would have died. I am now annoyed by its existence. Kill the Shroom. Illegalize it. Not criminalize, specifically illegalize. Illegalize might not be a thing, but we'll make it a thing. Goodbye, Chaser Maze. Your Pokemon are too strong! Damn right, you little poison bastard. Raising your Pokemon to those levels must have been a hard struggle. You might be our enemy, but you have my respect. I mean, your Pokemon weren't really that far off from my levels. Not really. Let's see, how many normal potions do I have? Hmm. Might as well. And now we'll move along. Lots of digging in here. Alright, stairs. That are obviously the game, the way the game wants me to go. Well, let's see what's up here. Hold it! Don't think you're going anywhere when you catch my eye. Is this not even a criminal guy? He's just a dude that wandered in looking for Pokemon battles. It's just a normal trainer. It's just like you must abide by the rules. We made eye contact, so therefore we must fight eternally. Oh, one of them's a Shadow Pokemon. It's the Medite. Hmm. Then we'll have to be careful. You Swift. We'll whittle it down that way. Through the power of low-level Swift, we will whittle down their health so we can catch them. Because, like, out of all of them, I think Medite might be the... Might be one that I might use. I'm repeating a lot of words today, I think. Oh, hey, Numel! Haven't seen you in a bit. Okay, that's horrifying. You bastard. Never mind. Blast him. 
We can't whittle him down. He's too strong. Still horrifying. Why'd that Numel act like a bowl of jello and just wibble wobble all over the place? You fool! And then the Numel ran away. Go, Great Ball. Grab that Medite. And, uh, I guess reflect. Because I don't want. I guess I could have swifted. To maybe lower its health a little bit more in case this doesn't go through. One, two, three! Ha ha ha! Medite is mine! Idiot. Now, who are you going to attack with your dig? Good. You did nothing, you fool. Kill the new Mel. Bash its brains in. Throw it into a volcano. With love! That animation of it just twitching around is so weird. It's like a jelly camel. Almost a level up for the dear boy. Gah, my Pokemon was shut down? You're damn right, Shadow Dude. You fool. My Pokemon have won a knockout challenge. There, you're no average trainer for beating them. I really don't know how good a knockout challenge is in this world at all. Oh great, now we're going in different directions. <laughs> oh boy. I don't even know which way is which. If I drop you here, Mir, be sure to give me a reward. Hunter Valen. Because there's a down, there's an up, I don't know which way is which. Like, for main progression. Hopefully the game will give me a warning, like, up ahead is Mirror B, so I can go and do the other non-essential areas. We must blow up the Lotad. Send him to hell. That was a non-critical, non-super effective, just normal attack. <laughs> Almost just obliterated that Lotad. Goodbye, Lotad. And then Lotad went to hell. And a level up for the boy. Meanwhile, slack off. It's almost like Espeon didn't even react. Espeon became mildly annoyed by the Wismer. And thus, its defense dropped. And that Slackoff just flopped around like a fish. And became confused. Well, I did use confusion, so that makes sense. And now you are alone, Wismer. You watched both of your allies die. Oh yeah, I could have been sending out Slugma all this time. Bring out Slugma, please. Damn it. Speaking of that, I'll send out Slugma, because I can. And then I guess I'll return you. I just got into the zone of beating up random dudes in this cave. Ah, and Slugma is fully diddly deed. He is fully freed! Damn you, Wizma. How dare you survive? And uses Roar again. What are you gonna bring out? Oh. <laughs> that amuses me. That amuses me greatly. That amuses me greatly. I love it. Get secret powered. Roars at Umbreon. He goes away. Roars at Espeon. Brings back Umbreon. 
No! I'll be punished for this! Never mind getting a reward! You will never see the light of day again. I'll pretend that I never saw you two. Consider yourselves lucky! I'm going to assume that the up... The up one... The stairs that go upwards are the way we're meant to go. And this is optional time. Never mind. I don't know. Games with, like, optional pathing scare me sometimes. Because now that we've gotten a unique area, I don't know. Branching paths cause anxiety. Because my brain says that since that's a, like, unique area... But now it feels like this is going on too long. Hmm. And you do have a guard. Well, let's see what the guard... Let's see what the guard has to say. Whoops, roadblock. This is a no-through street. I hope that you tell me what goes on back there. Rehan. Geodude. And Lotad. Is that Geodude gonna be a shadow Pokemon? Like, I don't even really care if it is. My brain just immediately goes, new fight, shadow Pokemon? Possibly. Can I attack my own Pokemon? That seems crazy. Cons but this game is throwing me off my groove. Because... I don't know which way is the main way anymore. Snow run. Snow. Kill the low tad. How dare you survive, little floaty man? What even are you? A water drop? With a lily pad on your head? Snow Runt is adorable. Goodbye, Lotad. Sometimes you wonder how they came up with some Pokemon designs. Some that are, like, kind of intricate, some that are very simple. How dare you icy wind all over my Umbreon. He didn't deserve this. Meanwhile, how dare you get a critical hit on my Espeon, you bastard. And blow up slack off with mine. It almost did. How d well, I guess with chompers like that, a bite would be kind of effective if he didn't do it on a Frickin' dark type. How dare you make me flinch? Alright, that effect... That effect looked weird. Secret power you. Return you. Like, the, the yawn animation. <laughs> the effect looks... Interesting and odd and weird. Sets me off. Secret power! Good evening indeed. I'm currently invading the cave and going, which way is the main way? Which way is the optional way for loot and fighting? <laughs> Crashed out! Please, tell me, is up ahead Mira B with one R? Well, I guess two R's. That tells me nothing. You have no idea how much I just perked up seeing your stream on. Ah, oh, bizarre! Always nice to bring people joy. 
Now, let's see, I just need to look and see. Who is the most damaged? I guess I could just use a normal heal. Uh, we've just been going for almost 30 minutes now. Uh, I'm not at the entrance. Well, I don't know what the entrance is. I went into the cave, and I'm like, oh, this will be easy. I know, like, which way is the optional path and which is not, but every way I've gone so far has made it feel like uh, the way to Mirror B when I want to explore the entire mini-dungeon. Because, like, I feel like the pathway of water would be, like, oh, dramatic, leading to him. But I don't know. But this person was just a guard. I don't know. He's just a random guy of boxes. I swear, <laughs> alternate paths gives me anxiety. A what? Haha, <laughs> too bad for you, you're at dead end! Mirror B's not here! Thank you, you have gotten rid of my anxiety. <laughs> you have no idea how much this helps me! <laughs> Noxie. Two Lotads. In the words of Axel from Kingdom Hearts, two! But yeah, ever since I played God of War... Which one was it? God of War 1? Yeah, I think it was God of War 1. I have just been eternally afraid of, like, mixing up the right way uh, for story progression and the way for, like, alternate, alternate pathing. Or even worse, like, going away thinking that it's like, oh, that way's the proper way to go. I'll go this way because it feels like an alternate way. When in actuality, I needed to go the other way to open, make things technically possible. Like, I went through a section of God of War 1, I believe, where you were supposed to go behind, like, this way of, like, I keep saying, like, like, I'm a valley girl. But yeah, there's this rope, and you need to cross it, but there are archers that are gonna shoot at you. So you need to go behind the rope, further in, to blast the archers away. Meanwhile, I was an idiot, and I'm like, no, oh, this is badly designed, I'm just gonna power through. Because I didn't realize that you're supposed to actually go and kill the archers to cross the, the bridge. I was a moron. I can tell you the exact trainers you need to encounter that lead you to Mirror B, or the exact path. If I ever run into, like, a super duper issue like that, I will consult chat. <laughs> but for the most part, it's just, this guy is just full of low tads. I think he's just a bunch of low tads and a coat. He's not even human. But yeah, it's just mostly me voicing my anxiety of alternate paths and optional paths because I'm always on the lookout for loot and extra fights and more content. So whenever I can't discern a normal path from a optional path, I just freak out a little inside. Like, am I going to miss content? No! I've done that for God of War, by the way. Most of the trainers, low tads, and their evolutionary line. It just amuses me that this guy is only four low tads in a coat. Fancy. He became shrouded in mist. Oh no! It's the Lotad from the Water Tribe! I was trying to make a Naruto reference to, like, Zabuza, but nothing came to mind. Now I'm imagining, like, Pokemon mixed with, like, Naruto slash Avatar The Last Airbender. Then again, I also have, like, a story idea that's kind of like that with evolution tribes that all don't know... Well, the lore is basically their evolutions, the ev the evolution tribes. S savaged And all the evolutions, for contrived reasons, don't know that Eevee is their, like, universal evolutionary ancestor, as it were. And they all hate each other. And it's a whole conspiracy when a human arrives in the world transformed into an Eevee. And the conspiracy crumbles around him. I might need to return to that story sometime. Yeah, you sure are strong. But you're no match for Mirror B. 
Yeah, and I only just realized that Mirror B only uses two R's instead of three. And Ultra Balls! Neat! Ultra Ball time. But, like, the, the further we get into this cave system, the more and more I'm like, I don't want to go back to the healing machine. It's so far away. Because I have to go down the elevator, loop around, walk through the building, walk through the cave. At least, you know, I just realized again, there have been no random Pokemon fights. No wild Pokemon. The only Pokemon you get are Shadow Pokemon. We are the therapy group. We are Pokemon therapy, not actual trainers. Let me quickly check my Pokemon to make sure they don't need healing immediately. All right, let's fight. <laughs> Welcome to here. That explains everything. I love here. Rider Sosh. The names weird me out sometimes. You, Dunsparce. I haven't seen one of you yet. Are you a shadow Pokemon? You're in the right slot for it. Reveal your secrets to me. We don't need the Mareep. We already have Flaffy. It is that Dunsparce. He's shadowy. Now I'm going like, if you wanted to, you could probably catch this shadow Dunsparce and like throw it all the way through the games. That'd be interesting, like, get a Shadow Pokemon that didn't have an evolution until, like, later games. Go it through, Shadow Pokemon that was never designed for it. Could be cool. The Wonders of Pokemon. Ah, eh, blow up your sheep with mind. That makes me wonder what kind of weird things you can do with spin-offs and main games and trading Pokemon up through the generations. <laughs> There's another Shadow Pokemon with a trainer named Zalo. I will not tell you what it is. Zalo. I don't even know. I guess I will be on the look for a trainer called Zalo. For some reason, my, ma my mind jumps to the four kids, like dub of One Piece, Zolo. Hey, Luffy! Nice to see ya, buddy! Save it! Luffy! <laughs> I still find it hilarious that four kids didn't even want <laughs> One Piece. They wanted, like, a cat girl, magical girl show, I think. And then the company was like, no, you need to take One Piece with it. And I think the conspiracy theory is that four kids intentionally made it terrible to punish them for it. <laughs> no, that made me smile. I am happy to bring smiles. It is but a public service. Cacnea! I like Cacnea. I don't think I've ever used a Cacnea in any of my diddly dees, but they are a double. And uh, then Swiftia to death. Watch, watch the game go, haha, you fool. Now your Espeon is going to be paralyzed. Not takedown from the slug man. Jesus Christ! You slammed my dog into a wall! Why does this Dunsparce have like two moves that inflict... Oh, you're gonna kill my Espeon, aren't you? Okay, good, you're not. I, I, I have PTSD from the, the pre-gym guy. And his Cacnea rolled my Espeon. <laughs> Your yelling is <laughs> awesome, I know. I try not to yell for yelling's sake, but when it is applicable, when it is earnest, now we're in the hell zone. While well, you're asleep. Oh, wait, I can wake you up. I will throw a ball. Throw a ball. Like, I don't think I'm going to use Dunsparce, but... Eh. Get in here, you bug thing with wings. The only thing I know about Dunsparce is that he apparently plays a decent role in, I think, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. And we got him! Nice. Kecnia used growth. He became a wrecking ball. 
Technia came in like a wrecking ball. I shouldn't have used Swift. Pin missile! You fucker. My Espeon gets to live! Unless the fucking Kecnia survives. Good. Again, I, I will reiterate the thing that I said earlier. It feels like Shadow Pokemon are like a somewhat difficulty thing. Oh, so she doesn't know what to do. You speak in third person and are weird. But yeah, Shadow Pokemon are somewhat something like a difficulty block in the way of the player. Because if you want to get the Shadow Pokemon, you got to keep them alive, which means they'll do more damage to you. So they... Like, they're not going to completely white you out or anything, but it's also like a bit of an anxiety where you don't want them to faint. Even if you don't, you're not going to use them, it's just that little bit of like, oh, I can get them. I can get them, and they're unique. So if I don't, I fail. It, it, it wedges itself into your brain. No way, no way! I'm supposed to beat someone as strong as you? They must be joking! I am a former criminal. Don't beat you up too... Don't beat you up. Don't beat yourself up too much. Hmm. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? And we're gonna keep on rolling. Once again, I wonder if the limiting saving only to Pokemon centers and computers is like a design decision or like a technical limitation. The game is mocking me. <laughs> Sit there being like, hmm, should I heal my Pokemon? Here's a Hyper Potion for you, Espeon. Immediate! Immediately! Immediately the game mocks me. Did you face someone named Darid? I don't think so. I might have, though. Their names are beginning to uh, mix together. So it could be anything. I was going to say, bridge makes me treasure, but I can't get it. Damn it. Why is a little kid here? Who is this lost sassy child? Duking's finished! It's the dawning of Mira B's time! It honestly feels like Mira B already has a cult. They're just random people. Oh, hey, Lombre. I remember you. I primarily know Lombre through Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Because he's a villager there. Kill the Lombre. Blow him up with mine. Kind of interesting how Lotad is just like a drop of water with a a lily pad on his head, while this is kind of like a kappa with a lily pad on his head. Quit slashing my dog! Stop it! Quit time looping him! Darren is blocking a set of stairs down that lead to pathway with four chests. I have not done that one yet. Well. <laughs> That'll be interesting. At least I don't think I have. It's entirely possible that I might have missed a way. I doubt it. But at the same time, I did miss Duking's house the first run through of Pyrite Town. So who, anything goes, really. Anything can happen. Level up for the boy. Again, love that the starter Pokemon in this game, that your first companions are Espeon and Umbreon. Because they're just grand. Just utterly amazing. C critical hit. Just not needed at all. When your Pokemon looks at an enemy who has one HP and they decide, well, time to crit. <laughs> Defeated Roller Boy Evat. 
What have you done to my Pokemon? Annihilated them. Fed them to Unicron. Uh, is Mayor B's age really going to arrive? No, it is not. It will be my age as the new criminal empire of Neon. Hello, dude. How I, I think that you are guarding the the stairwell to those two uh, diddly dees that I saw down there, the treasure chests. I need to score points of Mirror B so I can get a promotion. Promotion. It's Zalo. Foreshadowed you. Chat did. Uswablu. Obviously, that's going to be the Shadow Pokemon because they always appear in that slot for some reason. Those chests are recommended, and I am going to take all the chests that I can get. The only time that I'm going to miss them is if I just completely space out and miss, miss a way to go. Alright, Lotad, I, I do not fear you. I do not fear Lotad at all. It's also definitely the most disrespectful way to finish a Pokemon off is a critical. The Pokemon begs for mercy. There is none. Safeguard? What that do? Covered by a veil. I don't know what that does. And that's why we leave Lotad alive, because he does nothing. Lotad is but a fool. And since we have time to spare, I'm gonna uh, throw a Pokeball at you just because I can. And, uh, Swift. These stairs are not recommended. Oh. Huh. Which is weird, because I thought they were going towards the, the diddly D. Like, my mental map says that it should go the right way. But if they are not recommended, we shall maneuver elsewhere. At least for now. Why the super close-up of Lotad being blasted in the face by Star's game? Not the water gun! Like Zoink Scoop! I, like I'm the man behind the slaughter! And I'm gonna keep on throwing my Pokeball. That Swablu will be mine, I guess. I swear if this Swift crits the Swablu to death, I will. <laughs> he will! Durid is the trainer that's near the stairs that you want. Oh, I'm pretty sure those lead to Mirror B. And the Swablu is mine! Oh, hey, I bailed him! I don't think I've ever had a Metagross in my party, ever. Your vocal range is so talented. Thank you very much. It was from years of being interested in, like, the voices of anime characters. And then forgetting how to do them. I used to be able to do a good Meowth, I think. But then I lost it. Like, don't worry, your, your little blue head over nothing. It's Lavender. James is wonderful. <laughs> Blast that lombre. Devour him like Cheetos. I was going to say Doritos, but then my brain just decided to veer completely off course. Like, imagine looking at a Beldum for the first time. You're the first person to ever see one. It's an arm with an eye for a socket. It looks horrifying. What's the first anime character you tried to voice? I honestly don't know. There have been so many over the years. Technically not an anime character, but there's always the classic Joker. You killed Captain Clown. You killed Captain Clown! <laughs> See you, Batsy! Not my best performance. It's been a long time since I've tried to do the Joker. 
I just always remember that one line from the Batman the Animated Show. Don't know why we just went on a quick little <laughs> swirling camera tour there for a moment, but sure. <laughs> I, I don't know if I just haven't been paying attention, but that was one intense freak out for the Beldum. Yeah, it just, it just it goes on a wild adventure. <laughs> That's less of an animation and more like somebody just played around with flipping around the, uh, the model <laughs> in whatever software it was. And they're like, hey, we can use this. No, my bright future. No future for you. You ruined all my hopes of getting a promotion. I'm under orders to battle with you here. Orders must be followed. Ah, eh, shut up with your assless chaps. Ah, it's Darid. <laughs> Both the people we've heard about were in the same room. Oh, hey, it's a shuppet. I read a fan fiction in which Emmett became a shuppet. It's a little weird, but I think it was good if I remember it correctly. Hmm, who should we annihilate? I guess dark to annihilate you, and then confuse that pine cone. Bye bye, Pinnacle. And now I'm suddenly reminded of a random Brock line from the the Pokemon anime. I'll turn my frying pan into a drying pan. And then also reminded me that, un unless I'm completely off base, that Brock was also voiced by Kaiba. Which then brought my... Oh, hey, we, we're learning a move. Let's see what faint attack is even like. Let's see. It adds another dark attack to our repertoire. Draws the target close, then strikes without fail. So it just seems to be without fail, though. Without fail, though. Super accuracy. Without fail, though. So, hmm. I think I might hmm, maybe get rid of Taunt, because I have yet to use Taunt. I have yet to use Taunt. And my mind just kind of ongo bungos goes right back to the Dark Souls method of like, Oh, why mess with their stats when I can just kill them? Or like, why you strategy? Oh, they're using stat changes? I just kill them. So, because it's like, it's a 60, like, power move, which is the same as bite, but it is fully accurate. So it's something I can use against annoying evasion dudes, or if they try to mess with my accuracy. I'm going to get rid of Taunt. Bye-bye, Taunt. Who needs strategy? Ungo Bungo. <laughs> Ungo Bungo Stray Dogs. I've never watched that show. I'll just secret power you and a confusion. Eric Stewart has voiced both Brock and Seto Kaiba, so I was correct. Uh, before I got distracted by the move set, when I keep, like, uh, putting Kaiba and Brock in the same level of my head, my brain then went to. Like, wanting to make a mini-comic voiceover of, well, Rebus and then going, But this is ridiculous! But, like, a mini-comic that I would voice over where, like, Brock is fighting Ash, and he, and then he's like, basically turns into Kaiba midway through. Well, you know, Ash, you're just a third-rate trainer with a fourth-rate Pokemon team. Or something like that. I was under orders to battle with you. Nobody said anything about not losing, so it's okay. Now that's the spirit. And more stairs. <laughs> Ungo bingo bunk, indeed. So yeah, this is the other side, so this leads to those treasure chests that I saw. And should also lead to the other stairs? Pokemon Brock becoming the elitist Pokemon trainer. 
the spirit of like Seto Kaiba just inking through. It's all right, Ash. Hmm. Let me just quickly check my Pokemon. I mean, we could just run back to the save state. Well, not save state. The well, I guess save station, but it's a PC that also has the healing station. And quickly, diddly dee. Why waste resources when you can just heal? The Pokemon world, where the horrible, terrible criminal dungeons have better health care than America. We even want people who are invading our bases to have good health care. We're criminals, not monsters. Vote for Mirror B for criminal president. <laughs> Face the power of my rock dragon Onyx, Ash Ketchum! And in this timeline, Ash isn't like an ancient pharaoh, but he gets possessed by that like aura warrior that he like he's a descendant of or something. Brock like I don't even know. I'm trying to think of something like Seto Kaiba like but for like a rock tra gym trainer. And then it's just like, you fool, Ash! You failed to notice that I swapped out my Geodude for Vulpix! Burn his Pikachu to ashes! Are you looking for Duking's Pokemon? Could it be beyond here, I wonder? It's obviously not. <laughs> You're wrong, Brock! My professor's team has no weak Pokemon! That would actually be kind of funny. But then the question is, who would Ash, like, make the friendship Super Sharpie Pentagram hand symbol with? <laughs> Gary would be like... Would, would Gary be his, the Joey Wheeler in this timeline? <laughs> that seems kind of funny. I send out my red eyes blastoise. <laughs> oh hey, Teddy Ursa. Luckily none of my Pokemon have anything for you to steal. Ash Misty Gary and Koga. Koga there for some reason. He is a cool old guy. Teddy Ursa has, like, no reaction to being hit. This is a funny AU. Who would Pegasus be? Who's a rich douchebag in the poke- Would Pegasus be Bill? I built the PC system. I'm going to... Hello there, Ashy boy. If you want to get your professor back, I, I turned him into a Pokemon to hold him hostage. Tristan and Koga, excellent characters underutilized. That makes sense. That actually makes sense. Where's that Pokemon? I'll never tell you. We're a criminal. Let's just dangle her over the edge of this, like, hell world we live in. Dude, you people have any sense of direction? I bet you're having trouble getting around in this cave. Not really. I'm... Oh, hey, it's one of the fighting duo people. You seem kind of important, so we'll go the other way just in case. <laughs> we'll slowly whittle our way down to the proper direction. Oh, wait, no, I think that's like the secretary that we ran into. I'm in training here. One day I'm gonna win at the Coliseum. Just a whole mix of like normal people and criminals. Zigzagoon and Zigzagoon. First you Zigzagoon, then you take the sun. I forget the rest, but then you get the gun. Pokemon, but you have a gun. Aw, oh dear, here I go, killing again. 
Believe it or not, I kind of imagine Blaine being the Pegasus. Has his own mansion, an island, and locks people in his gym. That could work. I wonder if, like... And now my brain helpfully reminded me that, for some reason, the guy that gives you the pokey flute in... What's it called? The pr Creepypasta Town. In, like, the anime universe, he helps make frickin' Mewtwo for some reason. Just the, the weirdness of adaptations, huh? Then again, I guess, like... Giovanni could maybe be Pegasus to a degree, but he's more of underground criminality and not upfront. I'm a normal person. Well, then again, he was a gym leader, front facing while also being a criminal, so I guess that could work. And have Giovanni just genuinely be Bandit Keith. That would be amusing. And the flute man from Lavender Town could be Bonds. Eh. But where would the where would you go in this world instead of the shadow realm? The distortion world. Yeah, I forgot. I almost forgot about that. Fires a peculiar ray that may confuse the target. Hmm. Is this just a straight up upgrade to confusion? 65 power, 100 accuracy. 50 power, 100 accuracy. Fires a peculiar ray that may confuse, and a psychic attack that may cause confusion. Yeah, basically seems like just a straight upgrade to confusion. And I want Swift there just as a back pocket whittle down HP move, as well as unmissable. Reflect just in case, and return is nice. Confusion isn't guaranteed. Oh, I know that. It's just that confusion and Psybeam basically seem comparable, except this is just stronger, with they both can induce confusion. Well, I mean, confusion with confusion isn't guaranteed either. So yeah, I think I'll get rid of confusion, because return is nice as a base attack. It's normal. So if I want to do decent damage, but I can't use psychic on something or don't want to, that's a fallback. Reflect, I just want to have, just in case. Swift is also my whittle down, so yeah, goodbye, confusion. And learn Psybeam. And now my brain just had another funny thought. What if instead of, like, the Aura Warrior that may or may not be Ash's ancestor, what if it was just red? the stoic super Pokemon trainer instead of the Pharaoh. <laughs> Except it doesn't have a catchy, like, transformation name. Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it's just Ash in red. Single syllable. But one thing that's always, like, stuck in my mind with from that uh, that anime movie of I forget what it was Lucario and something something where they touched on the fact that Pokemon were used as weapons of war in like a medieval war and I just want to know more about that that's like never brought up again <laughs> my confidence took a hit I mean it should you're amongst criminals here Lieutenant Surge being like Mako but with electricity that would be funny. Maybe. Is it this place that's bad for my training? I think it's... I think you're just bad in general. I found a protein! Oh, hey. <laughs> More things to induce anxiety in me. Because I'll just be wondering what to use these on. Permanent stat-ups. The ultimate anxiety inducer. Also, the Cypher individual back there is optional. Ah, we're gonna go kill him. I'm just gonna uh, heal up my Pokemon first. Because with me, I'm always the one to be like, I'm going to eliminate this entire place, 
and then progress the story. I like doing the optional stuff. And I just realized that if this was a normal Pokemon game, we would be just suffering an onslaught of Zubats. An utter onslaught of Zubats. But again, we don't have to worry, because wild Pokemon don't exist in this universe. <laughs> Well, you gain the ability to buy more stat boosting items at, yeah, 9,800 Poké Dollars a pop. And I don't think I've ever done that in most Pokémon games. I just kind of shrug at them and leave. Because I don't know. It's one of those things where they're a highly valued resource. So I agonize over using them and then I just forget. The music amuses me. That, like, do 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 bass line. It amuses me for some reason. But let's go kick this Cypher bitch. Oh, now, isn't this something? This is the edge of the world. Good of you to come. What are you gonna do? Kick me off the edge of the world? I'm trying to reduce anxiety in using them since you can also get more. That's true. Cypher P on Seema sent out Sfeel and Lilith. They both must die. Is that gonna be a Shadow Sfeel? I never used Wailrin or Sfeel at all. Nope, not a Shadow Sfeel. Hmm. Who scares me more? I don't know. Kill them both! Psybeam! That's a cool animation. How dare you survive? The music will be even more hilarious when you proceed. Oh boy. <laughs> what? That animation? <laughs> it seemed interesting. And that's a cool effect. Aurora Beam is a super rainbow. Wish it was more like an Aurora Borealis, but oh well. That didn't even look like constricted. It looked even like a dance. The dance of the Lilib. I also just realized the battle music is different compared to what we I, I usually expect from like the battle square. And I like it. Goodbye, Spiel. Oh, it's so sad to have died. Dust Ox. We must throw him to the wind. Do not underestimate the power of interpretive dance. It's crazy. Don't you dare poison my dog. Either of them. The guitar that's playing is super reminding me of Tales of Symphonia. I really need to get around to playing that on stream sometime. But my brain is like, hey, you should play Tales of Fantasia on stream and s <laughs> first since it's a prequel. They're not really tied together, but there's, like, a lot of n thematic overlap. So I do want to do it. I do want to do it. At some point. And then I eventually just need to, like, <laughs> stick to actually playing the diddly dang game. Far too many times that my brain goes, I'm going to play this. And it's like, what about these other games? I'm going to play this. And then just again and again and again and again and again. All Cypher members have music like this, and it is boppin'. I have defeated you, you peon. Go mine some wood for me and my RTS army. It was no fluke that you managed to come out here. And now to throw you off the edge of the world. What a wasted effort for you. There's nothing here for you. While you were all busy wasting time, what became of that Pokemon you're after? Ho 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 ho! I really should throw her off the edge of the world. And besides, you have made me stronger. And by becoming stronger, I will devour Mira B and his power of interpretive dance to rule the criminal underworld. So then I will not only be able to snag Popem Popemon. I have the ultimate Pokemon! Hope, Mon! The religion is now me! But... 
I'll be able to snag Pokemon through the power of interpretive dance juggling. Again, I like that you can actually tell the difference of the Pokeballs that go in there. Even though, like, the heel station's, like, top is just like a flat texture. Yet the Pokeballs seem like 3D models. It intrigues me. Mirror Beast theme is the best in the game for me. Well, we'll have to wait and see. We went down the optional path. Well, I guess I should probably use the super duper items. Let's see. Protein increases attack. Iron increases defense. Zinc increases special defense and speed. I'm going to do it for my boys. He definitely needs the speed. Let's see. We should actually take a look at their stats to see who could use it the most. Let's see. Yeah, speed, special attack, and attack are his lowest. So you definitely need the defense boost. But you're also primarily a special attacker. And I forget, I don't know if you're like a special attacker or normal attacker. Considering that your spe- well, actually, your special attack and your normal attack are kind of even, but your special defense and defense are through the roof. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna be my aces through this, so... I'm going to give defense to Espeon so that he can survive a bit longer. Well, either one. Defense in general. And then I think protein to you. I suppose. Because Espeon's a special attacker anyway. <laughs> Your Umbreon is a tank? Yeah, he's been surviving everything. I don't think he's fainted once. I should probably go and save. Or I'm never going to remember to do that again if I die. I don't think I will, but... Pre-Gym. With Super Evasion Boy. Haunts my dreams. All it takes is one competent enemy. And I will die. Bibbidi Baha. Well, I assume on our way, on our way to face Mira Bay. <laughs> now I'm imagining Yassified Mirror B. With like overly makeup and those long fake nails for some reason. I don't know why my brain just throws things at me. My brain throws ideas and it is cursed. Do you have an orange GameCube? I do not. I just have a normal GameCube, but I primarily use a Wii. Although for this, like, playthrough, I'm using an emulator just for ease of recording and streaming and everything. Because even getting my capture card to work with my Wii is a process of pain. But yeah, <laughs> you know, even if I hadn't already eliminated all other possibility, this feels like final boss, end of dungeon area. I would have turned back immediately. That's his motif. <laughs> do, you, do you just come here to dance with, with your big happy boy, sombrero boys? Does he just come to the cave at the end to dance the day away? <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Him and his backup dancers. Yeah, woo! It's about time, darlings. I'm so frightfully tired of waiting for you. Well, maybe if you stopped just jigging and jagging over here. You wouldn't be so tired. Stop the music! Oh, you kept me waiting for so long, I decided to work up a little perspiration. <laughs> but you, my, you have been busy being naughty and messing up our plans. It was oh so close for everything to turn out just right, just the way we had hoped. But I can salvage our plan by beating you, little man. And so, 
there's no time. Well, there's time for one last frantic dance before the grand finale. Let the music play! Boss time. This is his de-stress routine. Or distress, yeah, de-stress routine. He's only gonna use Ludicolos, isn't he? Because <laughs> he was surrounded by his backup dancers. Well, you, you have to admire his conviction. He only uses five Ludicolos, nothing else. You got to admire it. And this is some bopping music. Rigo. How'd you make it rain in this underground? Why did they both try to rain dance? Why do I feel Oh. Oh no. Uh, I think we need to uh, gang up on these bitches. <laughs> They're gonna be painful. He is literally sicking his background dancers on you. He is also using a disco pose to start and stop music. He is an icon. Did it just fucking nosedive at me like a missile for its astonish? Well, you gotta say, yeah, that is astonishing. Critical hit, bastard, and it's gonna heal from the rain, too. I guess you can bite him and side beam this Ludicolo to death. It did a twirl, and then it died. And they're they are super juicy. They give they give level ups good good experience. Again, it just flies like a missile, majestic through the air. The rain continues to fall. Interesting that only one Ludicolo can use Rain Dance and heal from the Rain Dance at a time. That's interesting. He did say he was working up some perspiration. You're right. I... <laughs> now I'm just imagining this guy going like maniac, maniac on the dance floor with his Ludicolos providing the water from the bucket. <laughs> This is just a perplexing matchup. And he he weeded my dog. He gave weed to my Umbreon. I s he passed the joint. Don't get my gay dogs high, you bastard. Oh, Razorly, finally a new move from these guys. Urrego. Also, it's, it's basically the surf version of grass moves. Now my... Now my brain just conjured up another image, because... In one of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon- Oh, what? You have a pseudo Wudo? Why do you have a pseudo Wudo? And it's a shadow Pokemon that you throw out late in the game. Okay, sure. Why are the dogs gay, though? I just remember there being like a... Bebity Bob. It's one of the only things I knew about Pokemon Stadium. There was like a... A thumbnail. Dogs in love. And they're both guys, and they start, start with you this entire time. They are forever in love. 
Now kill that Ludicolo so we can probably get utterly annihilated by the pseudo Wudo. But, and here I, th then again, I should have expected something different because there were only four Ludicolo on, on the dance stage. So shame on me for just assuming. Is that going to make, th you know, it'd be hilarious if the rain made the pseudo Wudo just freak out. It's just like, RAIN! Like, reference to the gold and silver, where you're like, I'm just going to do a little bit of watering of this tree, and then immediately turns to murder. Quit weeding my dogs. Dear God, he's just... Does he get, like, triple healing from that? This guy is horrifying. We must kill this Ludicolo in quick. <laughs> now kill that Ludicolo. <laughs> Murphy's the king of having unrelated shadow Pokemon. Every game, he just sends out a random shadow Pokemon. Oh, yeah. I, I, got, I got distracted by the Sudowodo showing up. But... I, now I'm just imagining, because there's a a thing in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, one of them. There's like a Spinda Cafe. And I should have healed my Pokemon, they're gonna die. Oh no. A oh, critical hit too, you bastard! But like, I think there's like a rare event that you can like get at the Spinda Cafe where... Dancing Pokemon bust through a wall. Now send in the dancing lobsters. And I'm just like, what if it was just randomly Mirror B with no explanation that be danced on in? I think that would be hilarious. Yeah, we need to, uh, I'm just going to uh, shift you out so you uh, don't die. Slightly. We could surf, but that would be super effective and me scared. In Gale of Darkness, you can find him for Shadow Pokemon that you miss. And interesting. <laughs> the deliverance of killing the Ludicolo is amazing. <laughs> it is the only way. What the? Why was he? Why was he running with intent? Jesus! That Sudowoodo went in with vigor. <laughs> he jogged for murder. Jesus Christ! <laughs> he just, he was going in. <laughs> that, whenever the animations just come in like that, I love it. I just want to see it again. <laughs> For the love of God, do not crit, my dear, my dear little alligator Pokemon. Krokna, please. Do not. For the love of God, don't crit. I want him. Come jog for murder now, starring our champion, Sudowoodo. No, it would be more like, can you outrun the Sudowoodo? It's like Wipeout, but for keeps. Can you outrun the Sudowoodo? Again, just that animation of just running up to your Pokemon. I don't know, we'll send Slugma out to die. And now, we shall throw a great ball. And beg to God that Krokna doesn't get a crit. Give me that rock tree. One, two, three. Ha ha! Sudowoodo is mine! Sudowoodo, sir, I'm here to talk to you about your scar's extended warranty. I can't keep up with the tempo! Oh no, no, what a no, no! Uh, 
And then his Ludico. Now we're the ones on the stage! We're the ones of glorious dancing! How, how, how dare you! Don't you dare think you'll get away with your latest outrage! One of these days, I will take great pleasure in kicking you about with my elegant dance steps! Oh, and I'm not giving up our Shadow Pokemon plan! Let's go! Escape! He Naruto runs away! By followed by a conga line! Kyun Kyun! Neon, did you hear those cries? It must be Plusle! I think those cries came from behind that door! The Mirror B is a treat. He is very much a treat. Him with his horrifying Terminator pseudo Wudo. Oh, that's just grand. Snatch. At least we got a different item that didn't begin with T. Uh, I have some revives, so I think I'm going to go ahead and revive. Then again, oh. They already revived! Nice! Thankfully, this is not the last you see of him. He is the game's mascot. Why did- why is it just- Why is it just in the middle of the spotlights? Why is it in the middle of the spotlights? Einfile P. Purification of Pokémon. Shadow Pokemon are fighting machines created by closing the door to their hearts. The process of restoring a Shadow Pokemon back to its original state is known as purification. Exactly how a Shadow Pokemon is purified is unclear, but there appear to be several causes. We must eliminate reaction to these factors and create Shadow Pokemon that will never revert back to their original purified forms. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Ein. <laughs> yeah, Mirror B healed your Pokemon and ran. Mirror B was teaching Plusle how to dance. Oh, hey, Macho Brace. I think I I think I used that summon Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. It's been a bit. But it, it's just hilarious. He was like, we're going to vague threats against the Plusle. He was just teaching it to dance. Kyun Kyun. Neon. Pl uh, Neon. Plusle. <gasps> Neon, you're safe! Oh, and Plusle! Kyun, Kyun, Kyun! Mirror B got away, but things will get ba be back to normal here. Duking, I don't know what to say. Forget it, Silver. We're all unharmed, and that's good enough. Even that Mirror B has been driven out thanks to Neon. Kyun, Kyun! Hmm, what's that, Plusle? Feeling hungry out of relief? <laughs> okay, Neon. Let's quit this moldy cavern and quick. Let's quit these drugs. Neon, we owe you a great deal. Sincerely, thank you. If you were even a bit later, Plusle could have been made a shadow Pokemon. That's horrible. I... I guess it was forced to dance in a cave all by itself. That would turn anyone into a shadow Pokemon. I'm glad everything was uh, fine, Papa. And Plusle, too. <laughs> it just did, like, five flips. What the fuck? I don't know why. That just... It just looked weird to me. Hmm, what's the matter, Plusle? Oh, you want to... Okay, I understand. Is it going to come with us? Neon, could you take my Plusle with you? Plusle is saying it wants to help you, too. Kyun Yes, yes, that's right. You can't let those criminals get away with it. That's amazing. We got a cute and brave addition to our party. Neon, I'm counting on you. Adorable little thing. And it just <laughs> jumped into my pocket, immediately went to the PC. We are in the Matrix. My intent to investigate the organization behind Mirror B. As soon as I discover anything, I will be in touch. Which reminds me, Neon, I need your PDA. Neon gave Duking the PDA number. Perfect. I'll be in touch as soon as we discover anything. I trust this mayor a lot more than I trust the mayor in Finnac. Deep beneath this town is another town that goes by the name The Under. Mirror B's mob may have been smuggling shadow Pokemon in from there. 
I'm gonna go do a little digging into the underground town of the under. Big people, please be nice to Plusle. Of course we will. We're not mean. Unless you mean, like, actively use him. That's awesome, big guy. You went and knocked out Mr. <laughs> Mr. B. Mirror B while I was still looking on lookout duty. When I get bigger, I'm gonna knock out Mr. B. Mr. B, why do I keep saying Mr. B? My brain is f dying. Do you know the, about uh, the kids' grid? No. Everyone's saying they're going to make it and talk over it. Sec said... I, I, my brain is melting and I, I know the words, but I've read them wrong. Okay, these settings will do. Ah! You startled me! Oh, it's you guys again. Oh yes, I didn't tell you my name yet. I'm Marcia's friend. My name is Sec. I'm glad we met. I'm trying to get in touch with kids in other towns to gather information. After all, this is the age of networking. I hate networking. It's the devil's work. Now the question is, where will we go now? We definitely need to go... Well, have you changed your tune? Nope. I don't have... What? You're not trying to shake me down? And Mirror B is gone! If that's true, it's a great cause for celebration! But it's also true that I don't have any money! <laughs> this guy again! Oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry, Chief, but there's big news! You see, Chief, Mirror B and his underlings have left the town! Huh? Chief? You're not the Chief. I beg your pardon! I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. I heard about it over and over already. Oh, oh, Chief, there you are! You're such a kidder! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Mirror B hightailed it out of fear of me. You're an idiot. You two have sure done it. I just got word from one of Duking's people. So you wiped out Mirror B and his gang. Thank you. On behalf of our whole town, I want to thank you too. The way he said it is almost like thank you for murdering Mirror B and his gang. But there's also bad news. Headquarters warns that there is a mysterious organization that is plotting world domination. <laughs> Just all, 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 out of nowhere. World domination. I don't know if it has any connection to Mirror B, but you should be careful. Don't do anything reckless. And we shouldn't be careless. <laughs> Maybe we can talk to those two guys and be like, hey, Mirror B's gone. You can tell us obvious lies, but we're still not going to leave the safe place. <laughs> they're so afraid of Mirror B that they're just like, nope, nope. <laughs> nope, not getting out of this chair. Not getting out of this cell. This is Pyrite, the town of Earth, Wind, and Money. You appear to be taking on the town's character somehow. <laughs> what did you say? You put the boot to Mirror B. Well, that's a surprise. But it doesn't matter if the clown's here or not. Either way, it doesn't change the fact that Pyrite's the town for battling. Get ready for this! <laughs> the guy just jumps me again. Ah, he got new Pokemon and his cur did he have a Ralts before that evolved? How adorable. Again, if only for the fact that I didn't have an Espeon, totally would go down a guard of war route if I could get a guard of war. Hmm. Fighting words. Alright. Nuke the Curlia, Psybeam the Snubble. Snubble. Hey, beam! How dare you survive? No! Bye bye, Curlia. <laughs> it dies with dance moves. What next? Nuzly! Does it have weird little nipples in this game? That's always just a weird detail. Guess we'll blast you. It's time to talk to him about his car insurance with our salesman, Sudowoodo. And it's like, I don't want... <laughs> that reminds me of uh, that... I, I know, I don't... I think it's like... Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. An adaptation of a meme. But it was like... Uh, an animated meme based off of like part six JoJo's Bizarre Adventure 
where Jolene uh, is being followed by, like, that priest guy who's just like, Have you gone to church? Maybe later. Why not now? I'm gonna go later! Why not now?! Take me to church! But with, like, Suda Widow in the car insurance. <laughs> and that was overkill for that poor Machop. Super effective critical hit. <laughs> Poochie, yeah. Forgot his name. This is the day of critical hit, even if it wasn't very effective. And he flinched! He's like, dear god, I got hit! It doesn't affect me. Oh, I'm a fool. Oh yeah, I guess it would make sense. Me not doing analyzing. I completely missed that he was using Harden. I thought he was like doing some kind of invisibility thing. Blast him with the power of hearts. Secret power. The secret is that it's powerful. And of course it looked... Did the fucker really run away through the ground just to rise another day? I, I forgot I can just call. Call! Darn it. And it oh. For a moment, I thought that the dig missed. And I'm just like, well, that was just a waste of a turn. <laughs> that would have made me super laugh. Goodbye, Nuzleaf. And yep, has the weird little nipples for some reason. Why do they do this to the boy Nuzleaf? I couldn't do it again. You just can't beat me. I'm too powerful. Don't you see? I am a god. Um, uh, I've learned how tough you are battling. It's a full body experience. <laughs> well, if battling me does basically incur the damage I do to people's Pokemon onto the people, that would explain why everybody goes into a mental breakdown when I beat them. Cause they're they're nursing their wounds like oh Jesus Christ. Now I'm imagining like a world where Pokemon's like emotional bonds with their trainers actually do share damage like that. It was supposed to define male and female Nuzleaf. Yeah, you need your fortune. I don't trust that fortune lady. She lied to me. Because I went to her when I didn't know where was going. I was like, oh, this is probably the hint service. I go to her and she's like, you need to go to the Coliseum. When in actuality, I needed to go and talk to Duking. But maybe it's just because of, of triggers and stuff. We'll go talk to her. Oh, well, you're out, you're out here, lady. Maybe you're actually going to give me a good fortune this time. I, I might be imagining it, but the town's air feels somewhat less dirty. But not all is well. I can feel the presence of black auras coming from shadow Pokemon. Wow, F Fatine, nothing escapes your notice. There is but nothing that eludes the notice of my fortune telling. <laughs> the key to freeing Pokemon from that black aura, it is in the north. Up north? That's where my grandpa lives, too. Oh no! I forgot I was on my way to visit grandpa! He lives in Agate Village. That's north of here. <laughs> that being north may be no mere coincidence. Your answer may be there. Oh, my grandpa was a famous trainer when he was young. Maybe my grandpa would know something. Let's go see him, Neon. <laughs> this time is different, and you're right. She actually came and gave me an accurate diddly D. Ah yes, Agate Village, the only place with vegetation. A lush green town that is peacefully populated by old, old former ace trainers. You talk to a guy and he's just like, I used to go to Kanto, I got my ass beat. Okay, that's a cool house. It's a big dead tree that they built a house under, that's neat, I like that. That's a cool design. Oh, here we are. 
This is where my grandpa and grandma live. <sighs> the air tastes a lot different here. It's been so long. Okay, let's get going. I bet they're worried about me not getting here. She gets up there and is just like, oh, damn it, she's here. Why, welcome to Agate Village. This village is home to trainers who were once considered experts and, of course, their Pokemon. I would think that it's too early for you people to settle here. <laughs> you want me to throw you off that cliff, man? There's a cave? I assume we're going to go to that cave. We'll check out that cave after this. Oh, hey, it's a Torchic! Hello. Fun little fact. I think that, like, uh, with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, like, I think there were a few small-time... Like manga, they were quick and easy, not really long running. I think they were like quick, like I said, they're quick and easy, just basically advertising the game almost. And I think one of them uh, featured a young kid who turned into a Torchic. Oh, you're EA gun. Uh, shoot everything. You're EA gun's granddaughter, aren't you? Come to think of it, he's been telling everyone that you're coming for a visit. He seemed awfully pleased. Why do you have two hats? Do you have Celebi or access to Celebi? I don't think so. Like, I, I, I'm sure that if I tried, I could probably use some kind of program to put Celebi in, but... I'm not sure if I care to. Uncertain. But hey, boxes! A silk scarf, neat. And Ultra Ball, two of them. In fact, that reminds me, I got a Macho Brace. A hold item that promotes growth but reduces speed, and uh, an item that raises the power of normal type moves. I think I used a silk scarf a lot for my Eevee character in Blue Rescue Team. Hmm, not sure. Do I want to use the Macho Brace add on? No. Uh, there's a reason for that, but it deals with this area. Hmm. They're just like, well, we use Celebi for, like, specific event stuff in uh, gold and silver and crystal and stuff. Why don't we do it again? Let's do it again. But in the GameCube game. Oh, is this the Pokemon Center? Are you here to block it? Oh, ho, 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 when I looked into your eyes, excitement boiled over in my blood. What do you say, kiddo? How about we have a heated battle, you and I? Very well. I'll give you a close look at the skills I've honed over all these years. Fun old man Scoff. Haven't we fought before? I, I think I remember the name Scoff. The Macho Brace doubles EV points at the cost of speed and special attack. No, oh, that's weird. It, it didn't mention the special attack. It only mentioned speed. It would have cheated me. I might put it on someone. But I'm not a super duper tryhard. But who knows? <laughs> Again, I'm like kind of knowledgeable Pokemon, so I know of EV things. And I know like weird mechanics, like if you train on certain Pokemon a lot, it will like raise certain stats, I think. If you beat a certain Pokemon type again and again, it'll like make it so you get more of a certain stat than another. Pokemon's complicated sometimes. Welcome to the world of Pokemon, where by murdering specific types of creatures, you get different types of experience. Oh no, it has an HM. He really is. A rare ace tur trainer man. Ace attorney trainer. Damn it, it survived. Secret power. Blow him away. I am the Winrar. And the leveler of upper. Wahaha. <laughs> Are you gonna have a mental breakdown, old man? Ah, uh, that was a good workout. And he was rich. He gave me lots of money. Ooh, my, you are tough. 
I haven't been this excited in years. However, the Pokemon you use appear to be troubled somehow. They are frighteningly strong, but they are somehow cold. They were my starter companions, dude! They've never been Shadow Pokemon! Am I imagining that they are keeping their hearts closed tight? He insulted my Pokemon. The two things you mentioned, natures have different stat strengths and weaknesses. Yes, EVs of a certain stat can be boosted gang-wise by killing some Pokemon over and over. Interesting. Pokemon's interesting. Have you ever battled the Finnac Coliseum? Not long ago, I won a challenge and they gave me a TM. Why did you enter too? Because my my companion said, hey, let's don't use f shadow Pokemon. Let's only use Purified. And I hadn't gotten there yet. This place is a retirement village for senior citizens. But for some reason, we see a lot of visiting young trainers. There seems to be a rumor that this village has a secret but sure way of becoming close to their Pokemon. Brainwashing. Welcome to our Pokemart. Would you like to murder God? <laughs> I look down, I see HP up, and I just did like a double take. Joy scent? That slightly pleases. A scent that pleases. Is this how you get... What even are these? Slightly pleases and then greatly pleases. Is Are these usable items that give you random, like fights to catch random Pokemon? Maybe? Maybe? That's the only thing I can think of because we haven't had a random Pokemon encounter. Ever. Again, the music really reminds me of Tales of Symphonia. Wait a second. Could it be? Rui, is that you? I thought so. The last time I saw you, you were this tiny little thing. Now look at you, growing up to be a real beauty. Oh, please stop it. <laughs> but I shouldn't keep you. Yagun has worried about you. Don't waste any time. You should see him. Is he in here? The sensor are uh, for pokey spots that attract certain Pokemon at each spot. Interesting. God, he, 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 lo he looks old. Grandpa Yagun! Grandma Bella! I missed you! Ah, Rui! Welcome, welcome! We heard that you were coming, but then you didn't arrive. We were worried about you, dear. You finally arrived. What held you up? I had just a terrible time. On the way here, I was abducted by these creepy people. Luckily, I was saved by Neon, who happened to be there by coincidence. Oh, how frightful. Thank you so much for saving our granddaughter. But why would anyone want to harm Rui? Oh, that was Eagun talking. But why would anyone want to harm Rui? Also, you have a super high-tech fridge. Why? You live in a tree. It's probably because I can see those bizarre Pokemon. They're shadow Pokemon. Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines with hearts of darkness. Shadow Pokemon? What on earth is that? Well... Help! There's trouble! <gasps> Eargun! It's a serious situation! Some outsiders went into the Relic Forest! What? Who were they? I, I don't know. They should be aside and... That's enough talk. It can wait. I am off. <laughs> he ran like... Uh, he ran like a square. <laughs> he ran like a square. I mean, I'm just coming back in because te television's flashing. We have received breaking news. Mirror B, the brutal crime lord of Pyrite Town, has been defeated and driven out of the town. Reports claim that two young people were behind Mr. B's downfall. Their identities and where they came from are unknown. Thanks to their heroic work, Pyrite Town should hopefully return to its peaceful ways. Uh, it should return to its ways of uh, fun combat, combat, where people don't go insane. Are you going to say anything about the, the craziness? Let me tell you, I've never seen he again run that so fast and he, as he just did. I would say that he could even outrun me. Oh, hey, it's a mighty Ina. What is it I'm hearing about some criminals going into the Relic Forest? Well, isn't that frustrating? If I was a little younger, I'd go after them with my mighty Ina. Bawu. Oh, is this... Ah, save spot. The shelves are lined with... <laughs> I thought I was talking to the old man. 
Hi, hi. My n I'm the name rater. I'm the fortune teller of names. I haven't been able to name my Pokemon yet. I've been robbed. I shall be pleased to rate your Pokemon's name. I don't have any nicknames. Hmm, Umbreon, is it? That's a fine name you bestowed. Why, it's luckiness is supreme. But I think you have a slightly better name. No. That's hilarious. The base name of its species. The best that there ever was. So I guess you can... That is another weird thing where you catch Pokemon, but then you can't, like, nickname them, I guess, until you come to the nickname raider. Interesting. And considering what the... what I learned about, like, the Poke spots and stuff, I think I'm gonna head back to the store and grab... Rui, you're being weird. Eh, uh, Relic Forest, you've come the wrong way. If it's the Relic Forest you want, make your way down the hill beside the Pokemon Center. Shabu shabu bo. But I'm just wandering around, talking to people, learning their secrets. And Rui decided to go insane again. Oh, I guess that's the way. So I'm going the wrong way. Well, the right way, wrong way. What's all the commotion about? Is it a track meter for the old folks? Gee, they're energetic. What's what's the point of having, like, ends in a Pokemon game? Considering that, like, Pokemon centers exist. Did you see this? My tailor brings me berries from somewhere every day. Here, I'll share one with you. Rostberry. Subaba. Utter madness. I got a berry from a bird. This is against nature. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the store and buy some of the scent stuff. Because we can. So you sent because you don't have a cologne case. Oh, damn you. I was planning for the future, but I don't have cologne. Pokemon centers can't help humans or help them rest. Well, yeah, from an in-universe perspective, but I was thinking more of like from a gameplay perspective. Unless, uh, unless you can actually get attacked in this game. And you're like, oh, you better heal up at an inn. Oh, hey, it's a Trico. What is that unseemly ruckus? It's important that a trainer always remain calm. How dare you insult me. Oh, I was hoping that I could read. Like, you put a piece of paper on a wall, make it seem like it's a thing entirety. Heal my Pokemon, and then we'll save and go. Time-sensitive mechanics. That's also true. Into the forest we shall go, and eventually get a cologne case to lure Pokemon to my capturing, maybe. Oh, we never went into this building. We gotta write that. I just went in a big old circle. It's not my fault, I don't have a map. Oh, it's a Wobbuffet! Wobbuffet! That's not what Wobbuffet says. Ah, you're Yugen's beloved Bella. No, wait, who did you say you were? You have terrible eyesight, my dude. Oh, Rui, have you gone to see Yugen yet? I beg your pardon? Intruder is in the Relic Forest? That's serious. I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm just gonna say that's serious. Uh, now the question is, how the hell do I get down there? They said path past the... Now, how do I get How do I get down there? Uh, oh, there we go. It looked like a sheer drop. Don't blame me. I'm gonna go this way, because I can. And I was rewarded for my adventuring. 
I got a quick claw. Definitely shouldn't give it to, like... Oh, a whole item that occasionally allows the first strike. Oh, don't... It can't be used. I will give. And I'll give it to Umbreon. So that... Es because Espeon is already super speedy. They don't need to go that fast. That way, I'll be able to get the double first strike. Like a god. Make sure there's nothing over here. Nope. And on our way in. Time to kick some ass. Who invades this forest? Our oh, great. More cypher dudes. Hey, what? Here comes another meddler. That old man earlier, he trampled me when I let down my guard. But that won't happen again. Cypher Peon Doven. Feel and Carvana. Why do I have a feeling that I've... Oh, no, not the Carvana. I was like, wait, Feel, I've already fought you. Doesn't help that Dovin feels like a familiar name. Like I've already fought you before. But either way... I think Dark-type is bad for me. I'll have to refocus onto the Carvana. Return for the power of love. Oh, hey, it died anyway. Neat. Oh, rough skin. I forgot that's a thing. But how could they have rough skin? Sharks are nice and smooth. I feel like Surf would collapse this entire cave system. Secret the power. Destroy that spheal with the power of secrets. You give the spheal a secret. It looks at the secret and dies of cringe. You only had two Pokemon, and you're a you're a cipher. Ouchies! You are pathetic. I have stolen your lunch money. Why are these villagers here so ridiculously strong? I'm not even a villager. Time for peon too. No, forget about it. You're not going any farther. Aha, uh -huh, you fool. Silton! You, you have a silly name. Shroomish and Cacnea! Do a little dance, Cacnea. I do enjoy the Cypher Peon battle music. Psybeam! Blast it into hell! Critical hit! To hell, it did win. <laughs> bye bye, Shroomy. I can't believe I killed Toadsworth. Spin missile! You attacked the wrong one. But poor Umbreon. He's so tanky that he's just gonna get hit over and over and over again and just not die. Never die. Munch on that cactus. Get some cactus juice. Go insane. Finance your car. Roadblock attempt failed! You are a fool. And I take your money. Ah, fooey! I'm not feeling well today. What are you, Arnold from the Magic School Bus? You felt you should have stayed home? What the fuck? Boo! <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? I just didn't expect anybody to jump from the sky. Cypher P on Cass. Ball toy and Ralph's. They keep taunting me with routes. I want a routes of my own. Again, even though I have Espeon, so I shouldn't be wanting another psychic Pokemon because type. Destroy that routes for daring to look at me. Slam bam, murder time. I love my aces. 
Umbreon and Espeon make the best aces to my team. Why do you have a Routes and a Curlia? No. Why does it seem like it laughs before it faints? It's like, hey, 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 I had to do nothing. Level up time for the boy. And just annihilate this Curlia. Can't blow up Curlia. We don't even need to bite the Curlia. The power of love is enough to annihilate. Make way for me. I'm shocked over this loss. Now run out of here. I take your lunch money. And your sneaker money. And your life savings. Little boy, you're shockingly strong. Why does everyone keep calling me a little boy? I was part of a criminal organization. Oh, Rui. Eagun's in a heap of trouble. What should we do? What should we do? Eagun might be the mythical traitor, but he's pushing his luck if he thinks he can battle at his age. Who's this guy? You! Who are you? What are you doing here? Although you may ask why we are here, we simply cannot answer that. I can see that you are a senior citizen, but I cannot allow you to interfere with our affairs. You're the ones interfering! Shady creeps like you! I'll personally run you out! <laughs> no, no. Someone so old shouldn't overdo it. Don't take me for a fool. I'll have you know I was once hailed the most powerful trainer. That isn't all either. I have a comrade with whom I've been through thick and thin. This is the first Pokemon I got, and it's been with me ever since. Okay, Pikachu. We haven't battled this much in a while. Let's keep focused. Are we going to watch him just get... His name is Scrub. We're gonna watch this Pikachu just get annihilated, aren't we? It is level 50, and it's the Chonkachu! I didn't even get to see the Hitmontops. You missed? How do you miss? He's right in front of you! And he's like 12 levels below you. How did you do so little damage? I do more damage to Shadow Pokemon than this. <laughs> Plot. The ultimate downfall of the greatest trainer. Plot. <laughs> Didn't I already say, an old man shouldn't overdo it. Grandpa, Pikachu! <laughs> Pika! How dare you! You'll never get away with this! Ah, now here's someone who may show me more enjoyable time. Very well. On guard! Scrub would like to battle. Geodude and Hitmontop. At least he was a sportman. Sportman type. Oh hey, is the Shadow Pokemon gonna be in a different slot this time? To be perfectly fair, Pikachu murked like four trainers. Yeah, on his own too. Or are they both Shadow Pokemon? That would be scary. But it doesn't seem like it. Interesting. Hmm. We'll have to be a bit careful. Be gone, Geodude. Explode rock with mind. Who is next? Clam Pearl. It is so tiny, I'm going to sell its body for money. Quit kicking my dog. Quit kicking my dog. Bastard! Om nom his face. Shit. Do not worry. We have heals! And we shall return hit Hitmontop just to see how much damage return does. 
Not much. I can't use Psybeam, or else it'll annihilate the guy. Maybe if I double down and hit him at the same time with Bite and Dilly D, we'll be able to lower him down enough to catch him and get him out of the way. Focus all you want. I blast you with hearts. Ah, crap. He's gonna kick the shit out of me again. He keeps kicking my goddamn dog. And he gets a fucking critical hit, you bastard! You motherfucker! Oh, that's gonna kill us, uh, Umbreon, isn't it? Oh, no. It's a one target? Move! What? Now that just makes no sense, Billy. Hmm. We shall use Swift to damage him a bit more and damage Clam Pearl. And then we'll start throwing Pokeballs. That did like no damage because he did it in his iron defense. Oh, hey, a critical hit! Nice! Just keeps using credit for your beer. He keeps kicking my goddamn dog! Again, the guitar during this just so reminds me of ba 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 of Tales of Symphonia's music. Psybeam that clam pearl. But only after I try to catch this hitman top. You are mine. Rui's grandfather sees me steal this guy's Pokeball. And he's just like, you have, you have befriended a thief! What have you done? Ah, it's almost dead. And I think this is going to be the end of somebody. Keeps using goddamn waterfall. Come on, you're already down. So it basically doesn't matter who I do it to. They're basically down for the count. Espeon is my striker. Sorry, Umbreon, I probably... I don't know. If this actually catches Hitmontop, we should be good, but it probably won't because it only bounced once. One. Bull. Three! Bastard! Umbreon is now dead. Or maybe it's gonna attack Espeon? Nope. And it got a critical hit anyway in... Sadness. You bastard. If I wanted to, I could use a revive. I can buy revives. But I think money is limited. usual. I'm downgrading you to a great ball. You don't deserve an ultra ball. You weirdo. Get in the ball. It's like a vacation in my pocket. How many bounces? One, two, three. Cut. He just had to kill my poor fucking Umbreon. Why not? And swift. Through the power of stars we murder. And see, this is what I mean when Shadow Pokemon act like an additional difficulty bit. Because you want to keep them alive. So you take additional damage as you try and be like, I don't want to kill them. Yep, this is Umbreon's first faint. Espeon, I think, fainted once as well, so... Ah, super effective. If only Umbreon was here, this why not would be dead. You try to use counter when you were already dead, fool. Of 
Goodbye, why not? How dare you make one of my team thank you, fiend! I should have declined! And I got money. I've been instructed to capture Celebi, then destroy the Relic Stone. But matters have not gone according to plan. I shall communi- I shall have to immediately inform Dakim, who has gone to ba Mount Battle. Thank you for the exposition. Grandpa, are you okay? I'm fine, but my partner- Pipika. Ah, you're safe. Good. You battled with honor. If your opponent was any ordinary Pokemon, you would have won. So that was a shadow Pokemon. Rui and Neon, am I right? Thank you for helping us. We should go home for the time being. But folder! My folder! No, no, my credit card. I should have declined. Well, it's more like, no, my credit card, it declined. You really had me worried. Please don't do anything so rash and dangerous again. I'm a terrorist. I'm going to blow up another building someday. I'm sorry, dear, but I couldn't very well... Oh, she was talking to him. I very well couldn't let them have their way. Those crooks. They said they were out to capture Celebi and destroy the Relic Stone. Why? Might there be a connection between Celebi and Shadow Pokemon? Oh no, that's no good. We came here because we thought you would know something, Grandpa. Hmm, sorry to disappoint you. Oh yes, dear. Didn't we have a stone tablet? It had something to do about the relic carved into it. Ah, yes. Yes, we did have such a stone tablet. Now, where could I have put it? Let me go look for it upstairs. It may take time, so please be patient. So that's basically it saying go do other stuff. While she's looking, you might try gathering more information on Celebi, Rui. Go see an old man named Sinalor. He lives near the Pokemart down the hill. Sinalor is the authority when it comes to Celebi. That's if he remembers. Pika. Hello there, darling. Chunkachu. And do I need to go heal my Pokemon, or were they healed? Oh, so Mirror B will heal my Pokemon, but... <laughs> but <laughs> Rui's granddad won't. I see it. He doesn't like me. But luckily, we can come here, heal. Then I'm gonna go back down there and grab that note, that notebook. That notebook will be mine. The notebook will be mine. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Give to me. Oh, wow. I love the music in this game. Both the familiar and the unfamiliar. That folder will be mine. The folder will be mine. It will tell me things that I want to know. That guy earlier, he said something about Mount Battle, didn't he? That worries me. I hope nothing happens. I found the nine file. C is written. Celebi's power. The purification of shadow Pokemon has several factors. Celebi appears to have the power to boost the purification process. If a shadow Pokemon encounters a Celebi, it recalls how its heart was before being closed and reverts to its original form. The Relic Stone of Agate Village also appears to have the power to complete the purification process. These factors must be eliminated if our Shadow Pokemon plan is to succeed. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chivine. So are you just trying to turn all Pokemon into Shadow Pokemon? You know, that's only going to work for like a generation. Well, depending what you do to make Shadow Pokemon. I swear, that's such a deep hill. But I honestly... Well, let's talk to the people as well. When I was still a young lass, I learned how to battle from Eagun. But back then, Eagun cut quite the dashing figure. Why, he was the most popular in the girls, this charming man. 
the Selby can insta-purify if she's at the Relic Stone. Interesting. Let me tell you, I've never seen Ia Gun run quite so fast. We already read this. So I just need to, like, enter random places and talk to random people because I forgot where he wanted me to go. Ah, you're Ia Gun's beloved Torchic. No, wait. What did you say you were? What's that you wanted to ask me, Sinelor, about a Celebi? Have no fear, no problem. Forget something that important, that's not going to happen. Let me start with the relic in the relic forest. According to the ancient lord, the relic is said to hold the power of time travel for Celebi. That mystical power is said to revive the most pleasant, most enjoyable memories of Pokemon. If only it worked on me and brought back my memories of you. Ho ho ho! Would you like to hear more? Sure. To meet Celebi directly, you must use an item called the Time Flute. That is all one needs to bring Celebi to the Relic Forest. Or Celebi... Oh, I, I read it Sinalore as just or Celebi, because I'm a fool. Celebi will surely cause, surely cause darkness to flee from the hearts of any Pokemon. So now we shall return. We talked to the Sinalore. He was not senile. He had knowledge. Ah, Ruhi, welcome home. I finally found the small tablet. That is the small tablet that has been passed down through our family over many generations. Examine it. I obtained small tablet. There are words carved into the small tablet. Read the words. An agate mystic relic. Celebi's power shelters. A heart imprisoned by shadows. Its last door shall be opened by the power within. The relic must have some effect on shadow Pokemon. I will leave that for you to determine for yourselves. I want to leave. I hope that small tablet is something useful to you. Uh, email? Okay. Oh, Neon, your PDA just rang. All right, it might be duking with some news. Quick, let's check it. It's been a while since I opened this. Emergency! Neon, we've got big trouble. I just got word from our people that Mount Battle is under attack by a mysterious group of thugs. Please, can you go help? We think it's the same group as the one Mr... M Mr. B. I keep saying Mr. B for some reason. Mirror B belong to. We're counting on you. Well, time to go to war. What? Those crooks are loose on Mount Battle now? That's awful! We can't let this go on, Neon. Let's go! Oh, wait. Grandpa, where is Mount Battle anyway? Mount Battle is to the northeast. You can see it in the distance once you leave the village. Hurry, Rui! She doesn't even do anything. She just tells me where the Shadow Pokemon are. She's good emotional aid. But, like, <laughs> if she helped me with double battle, that would be neat. We must go to war. Heal your Pokemon, you uh, respect his pizzazz. <laughs> Mount Battle, a place of challenging training for all trainers. It is currently held by a sinister gang. I probably should have saved. I'm a bitch. Oh, please stop by the Relic Stone first. Oh, I'm sure we can leave again. At least the game doesn't lock you in. I just assumed that, like... I don't know. I felt that it would, like, push me towards the stone more. But let's go see. And it will also allow me to save again. Just in case we utterly get annihilated and I want to reload or something. Either that or my computer dies. You can never know. But I do like this area, like the stones, the roots, the water. This is really nice looking water, by the way. I really like it. It's simple, but it's pretty. There's a Pokemon that may open the door to its heart. Krokna! Awaken! He's so happy now. Krokna opened the door to its heart. Krokna regained the move Rain Dance. Oh, and a lot of experience points. Good for you. Only one experience, one level, but still. Oh, it's evolving? Sure. 
I'll let it go. I'm sure there's some strategy like, no, you need to block it so you can get a different move, but I'm but a noob. Give me my fur alligator. My chunk alligator. My boy! And obtained a ribbon! Oh, yeah! Oh, and now we can nickname them. We'll try to nickname you. What shall we name you? I think I'm going to call you... Let's see. We're gonna call you... Theodore. Come along, Theodore. We've got adventures to be had. More time. Awaken your heart, Slugma. Awaken your soul, so your flamethrower can annihilate all your foes. And learn Sunny Day. And a ribbon. What nickname shall we give you? Hmm. I suppose we can call you... Nova. Huzzah! Of course, we have more to do. Flaffy! Our electric type shall be opened to the wonders of murdering flying types in the future, probably. Flaffy regained the move Thunderbolt! And obtained a ribbon. Hmm. I think that we shall call you... Lammy. Flaffy the Lammy. And of course our Hoppip. Or no, not Hoppip, Skip Bloom. I think he evolves into a Hoppip. I'm I'm a fool. What shall we call you? Synthesis! And got the least amount of experience. <laughs> Probably because I used him the least. Missed opportunity for Fluffy the Flappy. That's true. Let's see. Hmm. My brain says we're going to call you Windy. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Windy. I do believe that's everyone. Purified on my team. If I really wanted to, I could probably go to like the PC and put one or two shadow Pokemon on my team to slowly accrue heart points. But that would be efficient and I am but a fool. It is a little weird that the game just kind of like doesn't push you back to doing that. It just kind of mentions it and then then again I, I'm a fool so I probably should have expected the big old stone in the middle of the place to be the thing. You missed a human back there, but yes. I thought I already talked to the guy back there. He was just like, oh, there are people at Mount Battle doing bad things. That's scary. Unless you mean, like, around here. I also don't know how to get to that one treasure chest that's up there. Don't know how to get that treasure chest. Oh, I... Actually, no. Hmm. Is there... Ideas are coming for me. Maybe. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> My brain just doesn't know how to get down to that one place. It tortures me with the temptation. Ah, we'll be coming back here to, like, 
purify Shadow Pokemon eventually. We'll get it eventually. It's in Pathfike before. But we shall move along with the story. So we don't get too wrapped up in the craziness. Every single time I see the spike, my brain just goes, I miss when Umbreon and Espeon were in that. It's terrible, 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 I tell you. <sighs> Mount Battle is under attack by a group of shady people. I'm so out of breath. Then why do you keep jogging? Thinking about taking the Mount Battle challenge? Forget about it. I'd keep clear of the place for now. I hear Mount Battle's been taken over by a bunch of trainers that use weird Pokemon. This is some funky music. But in we go. Either way. The real challenge is murder. Oh, there was a safe station here anyway. But at least we got to purify some Pokemon. It looks like they're after Vander, who's an area leader. But why would anyone want to do that? I'd go help, but the best I've ever managed is eight consecutive wins. I wouldn't get very far. A bunch of creepy-looking trainers came and started attacking other trainers without any warning. Those trainers. The Pokemon they had weren't normal, any way you look at them. This is a distinguished place of training for honorable trainers. What is the meaning of this outrage? Those attackers. How dare they attack others without any regard for the rules? They're failures as trainers. But anyway, uh, oh yes, I'm the move deleter. Don't be shocked, but I can mo make Pokemon to forget their moves. Would you like me to do that? No, thank you. Come again. This is the coupon exchange, but right now everything's suspended because of those horrible people. No, I'm sorry, but I can't let you win. It's full of thugs. It's dangerous. Oh, you heard about us uh, from Duking? You must be here to save us. If you rest at the Super Grand Hotel, there's an expo there's exposition. Ah, oh, interesting. You see, it was me who contacted Duking for help. I didn't think you would get here so quickly. But please be careful. The power of their Pokemon isn't normal. Well, then let's go to the Grand Hotel to get that exposition. Because why not? Well, I assume it's the Grand Hotel in Pyrite. Because I think that there was also a hotel in Agate Village. And there's also a new encounter in the Pyrite Cave. Ah. Interesting. But where in the Pyrite Cave? The Pyrite Cave goes deep. We'll have to keep that in mind. Well, let's see. Talk to people, maybe? Thought construction would end sooner, but it keeps dragging on. But it sure won my building, the real gym tower. I think I already talked to you. He's still dreaming. Let's rest here and see if we get exposition. Yeah, Mirror B's old spot. Deep in there. We'll go down there eventually. If I remember to. Next time you stay, make sure. Huh, can't say more than that for spoilers. Fair enough. I do like the murals on this Super Grand Hotel. Unless this isn't the Super Grand Hotel, which I could be dumb. Well, that didn't seem to... Oh, that was the exposition the guy saying that's dragging on the real gym tower. I wonder why it's called real gym. It is a coliseum. This makes me wonder, like, how many places the map is going to have overall. We'll find out eventually. More than likely. And might as well save again. Because why not? Save crazily so that you don't lose your mind. Let me check my team. Hmm. I should probably put others up front. Level them up more. Swap Pokemon around, level them up more. Because my aces are being fed! Whoops, hold on! Are you mistaking something? All training has, to, has been put on hold! But if you really must, sure, I'll battle you. 
Interesting. Who are you gonna throw out? Trap in Janumel. Lamianova. I don't know what Trap Henge is, though. Alright, Lammy, we'll swap you out for Theodore. And Flamethrower, that Trap Henge! I should have rock thrown the new Mel. Oh, out. Well. It's probably best we don't go to Pyrite Cave for now. That's what I figured. They probably don't expect the player to immediately go back. So they probably put something very high level in there. And of course you dug a hole. Bastard. What have I used surf on you? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Missed. I wish I could have flooded this hole. When you return to Agate Village, the missing item is EXP share. <laughs> of course they hit it. The bastards. But I'll definitely wander around trying to get it. It's very important. Sandshrew! Rock throw. Yeah, not very effective at all. That's utterly horrifying. And my poor guy died. At least you leveled up once, dude. Sand Shrew. Let's throw you out there. Windy! We use Surf again. Mega Drain that Sand Shrew. Also just realized Surf is also a HM move. <laughs> but we don't have to worry about that. Because there's no HM in around in this world. Theodore is my new god. I defeated you. You don't need any training. I'm not here for training, I'm here for murder. Uh, Master Dekim will reprimand me. Oh, so you are a part of the evil. How dare you? I trusted you. I thought you were like a normal dude. It's just like, I won't abandon my duties. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Heal my Pokemon. My Slugma died. Because he's a fool. I don't trust these platforms, they're scary. Huh? Turo took a fall, did he? I could never count on that guy. Well, I'll just think of it as there being more for me to enjoy. Come on! Swinub and Boltoy. Lammy. Nova! Hmm. I think I'll swap you from... Nah, I should probably stick it out more. Let's see. This probably won't work much, but do it anyway. Meanwhile, you flamethrower this one up. Uh, there are four new Pokeballs available for purchase at the outskirt map. Ah! Yeah. Wait, four? Okay. That's what I thought. I always forget what Ball Toy's typing is. Flamethrower. And you lived, you bitch. We'll swap you out and throw Theodore in. Because we can. And uh, Flamethrower again, because spite.
cosmic power. That is freaky. Never mind. It just roasted its special defense. Powder snow. That's going to do a lot of damage to my boy. Never mind. I thought it would. Like, ice type move against water. Is there a secondary typing to Furligator that I'm unaware of? I'm dumb. Ultra Net Time and Nest. Interesting. Lammy leveled up. Good job, Lammy. Larvatar. Uh. I guess. Beyond the Larvatar. Water Dark, I believe, for Furligator. Meh. So does that mean that ice does pour against dark for some reason? I don't know. Again, I'm dumb. In any case, ice moves work weird in this game. That would also explain it. Not the mud slap. Yawn at him. Yawn him. Send him to yarn him. And uh, I guess we'll just do that multiple times. And, but, but yeah, screw it. Why not? We'll keep flamethrowering him because we can. We'll melt his rock with fire. Huzzah! Ah! You are a fool, a failure. Throw him off into the canyon. Oh, Lammy is evolving! Good job, Lammy. Again, there's probably some moves to be learned by keeping them as flappy, but... Eh. Give me my weird little dinosaur boy. Woo! I'm gonna get reprimanded too! I'm gonna swap you out for Theodore. Because I think Theodore is gonna be very type efficient. Watch me now want, like, Nova in this fight. What's going on? Both Dro and Drovic went down? That's weak. I'm not going down easily. We'll have to wait and see. For a moment I read that as Kermit, but Kimmit. Mm, Kermit the Frog here. Geodude. Joe-dode. Job Bob. We'll swap you out for Windy, because we can. And Theodore, surf them to death. Do it radical style, dude. Wah. The ability to use typings to my advantage. Fear my power. Fear me and feed me. Oh no, not the new Mel. Right as I brought out my... My grass type, huh? You do this to me. So when you reach Burham, prepare for a rough fight beyond him. Barum, alright? So I'll definitely go back and heal after Barum. I went down easily. You're done, right? You did with your stupid purple leopard print hat. Just today, I'll back off easily. F 
<laughs> the tr <laughs> that could be read as fa. The trio you've already defeated. If I liken them to food, there would only be hors d'oeuvres. The real battling begins now. Raiden. Pineapple. Bottle toy. I don't know the typing of Pineco. I let's try a thunderbolt on the Pineco, because why not? <laughs> and they didn't die, darn it. Thunderbolt! And it killed it. Good job, Lammy. You actually got to do a move thing. Grass dark or grass steel, I think. It's hard to tell him. <laughs> oh, it's Hound Hour. Soybean. Don't you laser my lightning dinosaur lamb? You wish. Surf's up, dudes. Time for a double KO. I also just realized they don't ask you, like, if you want to swap out Pokemon when you faint an enemy Pokemon in this game. Only just realized that. Graveler. Ember. Why would you do that against the water type? You utter fool. You utter meringue. Man, to level up for Theodore. Oh, it's your last one. Cotton Spore and Surf. Surf's up, dude. Teenage Mutant Furligators, Teenage Mutant Furligators. Please, no! You are a fool. I don't even think you have chaps. I think you just have pants that look like it. The real battles begin after me. Man, just to be safe, I'll go and heal up my Pokemon. Because why not? Chat says that the real battles begin after Burham. That guy says the real battles begin after him. Might as well give him the benefit of the doubt. Just heal up. Hmm. And maybe we could go and maybe stock up on balls at the little train stop. I guess it wouldn't hurt to do that. Doesn't seem like we we're in a super duper rush. Plus, I can maybe grab a few more potions and stuff there too, maybe. To the outskirts stand on my super diesel bike. At the very least, the balls, so that I... Oh, hey! Probably gonna tell us about Battle Tower, right? It's time for the news. According to authorities, there's a criminal or syndicate that is seeking world domination. It is thought to be linked to the rash of reports from various regions about vicious Pokemon. We hope to bring you additional info about this story as we learn more. Well, that's hardly anything. Listen, pal. If you're intending to travel some more, you might want to stock up on diddly D supplies. I guess I'll buy uh, two antidotes just to be safe. <laughs> I got poisoned once. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Timer ball. A ball that works better the more turns in battle. That seems situational. Because some might go long, some might not. Nest ball. That works better on weaker Pokemon. Netball, water, or bug type. I think it just might be better just to get normal diddly-dees. 
guess I'll get ten of these, a few ultras. Hmm. And he doesn't seem to have any, like, normal heals. So I probably should have picked up heals at Agate Village. Because it doesn't hurt to drop by Agate Village to pick up a few heals. Slightly bothersome that that guy doesn't stock everything since he's basically the only place to get Pokeballs. But at the same time, travel doesn't take long in this game, so... Not totally, totally bad, bad, bad. Burn heal might be worth it. Maybe. Do you also sell burn heal? No. He does sell super and hypers. Guess I'll buy a few hypers. And a few more supers. Let me check the rest of your stock. It's just the scents, and I don't have the cologne box. I think I have two burn heals. Let me see. Uh, two burn heals. Hmm. I don't run into that many status effects that affect me for long, so I don't know. The Mayor of Finnec will also update you about this last TV update, but he offers no more information than the TV. That's interesting. Kind of interesting and nice that they have multiple ways of giving you more information. So if you remember that the Finnac City Mayor exists, you can go there and be like, Hey, what's going on? There's a world domination motherfucker about. And then I could just say, yeah, I think I saw him leaving your house yesterday. He looked like Sephiroth. Full on Final Fantasy in my Pokemon game. Oh yeah, we could also go back and get the EXP share. Might as well, so we can train up some of our poor, poor low levels. I wonder how it would work in this game, because this game is basically compulsory double battle. Maybe I just put it on one Pokemon and experience. I don't know. And it's by the treehouse. So I assume, like, we go around the back... Probably should have assumed that. The entire time I was like, there's probably something behind there, but I just never went around. Because I am a fool. EXP share. A hulled item that gets experience points from battles. Then let's give it to somebody. Who shall we give it to? Let's give it to Wendy for now. Hmm, I'm wondering. Maybe I should take that back and put a... Uh, I don't know. Part of me kind of wants to go and select a, like a, a Shadow Pokemon to try and make friends with. But that requires like breaking them out. Then going back to Agate. Then giving them the experience share. Let me see if the Shadow Pokemon I have. Are there any that I would like to swap out? Mm, don't really care for you. Maybe you. Uh, don't really care for... What's your, like, summary? What's your typing? Yeah, ground and water, but that makes you double weak to some things. You're Flying Psychic, I believe. You're Normal, Bug, Plusle. You're Rock, Hardstone. What's your typing? Water flying, I believe. Normal flying. I don't know why I thought you were... I think it's the blue. My brain is just like... It's a, it's a water type. XP share. The Pokemon holding this item receives half the experience obtained from fainting Pokemon. The other half is divided between any Pokemon who are active. If you have two active Pokemon, the one holding the XP share gets 75%. Wow. Hmm. What's your typing, Dunsparce? Bug? Normal. You look like a bug. Makes escaping easier. We uh, Can we even run from fights here? 
Twisted Spoon. Twisted Spoon, you say? It's Fighting Psychic. Can I take your item? I don't think there's an easy way to take your item. I want to look at that Twisted Spoon. Hmm. Lots of fighting types that they've been giving me. Hmm. Uno momente. I'm gonna grab that Twisted Spoon. That Twisted Spoon is gonna be mine because it probably boosts Psychic Power. Which might be have very nice for my Espeon. Pokemon. Item. Deposit? <laughs> Why is deposit? Deposit sounds like give to me. Also, the boss of Mount Battle is levels 38 and 40. And my aces should be able to carry me. Yep. Boost psychic power. Here you go, dear. So even if we don't end up taking a Shadow Pokemon out, we at the very least got a nice item for my Espeon. Now let's see. Thankfully the Pokemon that's level 40 is a Shadow Pokemon, but it is a doozy. Hmm. Maybe bring Ms. Magius? Or, no, Ms. Magius. Ms. Dravius? Because then again, we could maybe level up Windy. Hmm. Because I definitely want you, Nova, because fire type, type coverage. Hmm. Yeah, because you're pretty weak stat wise. And you're all grass moves with only real one thing, but you you might be nice as like a, a st putting people to sleep and stuff. Uh, let me look at Miss Dravis. Uh, stats kind of comparable. I'll just keep my current team for now and save because that psychic spoon. Well, let us move on. Now that we can, level up Pokemon however we wish. And I'll keep the team that I have, like, out right now. And swap them around as needed. Number five. Wow, you've come a long, long way from home. You should be proud of yourselves, but prepare for a thrashing. I never miss targets once I get them in my sights. What are you, a, a sniper? Not tell ya. Trap in Shin Barboch. Oh, hey, Barboch. Unless you're like part ground type, you're gonna get annihilated. Go Lamy and Theodore. We are here for murder. Thunderbolt! Surf! Surfing every day, surfing every day, killing Trap Inch. And even you. Ah, uh, yep, you're part ground type, you bitch. The moment it gives me possibility, the game ruins everything. Luckily, they both tried the same thing. And, uh... I guess just Cotton Spore on you, because the game is mean and keeps throwing ground types at my poor Lammy. Then again, we are surrounded by rocks, but I mean, come on. And it's almost dead. Another trap inch. 
Totten Spore. Bleh. Get cottoned, bitch. Why does its mouth look like a deformed plankton? Like SpongeBob plankton. Honestly, I'm just going to swap out Lammy and put Nova in, I think. Well, that wouldn't help either. We're just doomed. <laughs> That I've been out typed. I wanna, I wanna level up, people, but I can't because the games are mean. <laughs> I was gonna say that was a donut, but hey, that works too. It's like the ink blot test. It can be anything. Goodbye, Barbotch. You stupid mm, monster. Good job, Windy. You are slowly leveling up. Lily, I think you're water plant, maybe? I'll at least try to thunderbolt you and see what happens. I don't know typing off the top of my head, but we can at least give it a try and it ran away. You wish. Ba ba ba. Well, I guess Thunder Shock we should try. Surf, I guess. So once you clear this, you can use Mount Battle to cause damage. Use Mount Damage. <laughs> Mount, <laughs> Mount Damage? I'm a fool. Use Mount Battle to cause leveling. Oh, but you will not be able to complete it at this current time. So basically, I'll be able to use it for grinding. You hurt my baby boy. Well, I guess we can throw Nova in just cause. We keep getting buffeted. But it's not a buffet. Flamethrower that Lilip and Surf. It's a great place to grind, but a place that gets mighty difficult as the floors go up. Interesting. So we might do some grinding here in the past and future. As in, level 100 Pokemon near at the top. Wow. So it's basically a do not expect to actually win place. Gotcha. Jesus Christ, are you just immune to everything? You motherfucker. You Alice in Wonderland pot looking motherfucker. Burn. Burn. Burn and churn. And die. Not the nutrients. Well, luckily the burn is there. I'll throw a rock at you and bite you like the salad you are. Nom. Again, that animation trips me out. My targets got away. You're damn right they did. And I'll keep getting away. You'll never find me. Oh, hey, Wendy's evolving. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh. I like the little patterns on the floor. Yes, it is a happy boy now. It has like fluffy boxing gloves it'll murder you with. Pyrite and Farnet Coliseum also uh, open up further at this point, and Justy becomes available. Technically, Justy has been available for a long time. He kicked my ass. Ah, oh, I hate him. The next time we meet, I really won't let you escape. Eh, well, that's what they all say. Hell, after we do this, maybe we'll go kill Justy. <laughs> kill Justy's. Kick Justy's ass. 
Him and his evil evasion moves. Burp, burp, burp. Save my Flaffy. Not Flaffy. My Lammy. My Lammy Lamb. My Leggy Lamb. Even though it's a dinosaur now. You ever go to the market, you buy a sheep, and then you get home and it turns into a dinosaur? Welcome to Pokemon. Although at this point in the game, I probably should be, like, playing the way I am. Have my low levels out, and then if they faint, oh well, and then keep Umbreon and Espeon in the back as anchors, I suppose. Justy's also packing level 40-42 if you uh, g get to him after Mount Battle. Meh. Hello, hello, hello. If you want to get by me, you have to watch my performance. Okay, let the show begin. She pulls out a gun. Norts. Who came up with these names? Cacnea and Spinda. Oh, wrong one. We shall annihilate this spinda. It insults me. Get in there and murder. My lava slug will kill you. Damn it, it survived. I recently saw the funny aha uh -huh meme video of somebody using like the spinda uh, random patterns to play Bad Apple. I almost didn't even get to use you. And the motherfucking cactus doesn't even have the audacity to die. Go to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world and look for some rainbows. Now, we better go first and you better kill him. Damn it. I send you out and you die because of that fucking Spanda. I wanted to use type matchups, but the game is mean and doesn't actually let you send out Pokemon easily. Well, you see, you have to let your Pokemon die. I miss the ability to, like, oh, you uh, finished off one Pokemon. Would you like to send, swap one out? Like, it just feels weird. Because then that happens. You try to send out a Pokemon, then the game goes, ha ha, idiot. And then you just die. It, it feels weird. I should have used Bite on the Kadabra. I was hooked on revenge against the Cacnea. Oh, hey, he's dead. Never mind. Level up for Lammy. Haha, <laughs> you flinched, you idiot. You stupid little cactus. We're gonna make juice out of you! I believe this might be the setting you uh, can actually change. If not, it's definitely a setting in Gale of Darkness. Could have sworn, because I know I looked at the settings. Like, I don't know. Like, the main menu settings I checked. And I don't... Uh, I'll have to check when we go back to heal. Because it feels weird. My performance is ruined! You will never perform again after I take your kneecaps. Not break them. Take. Nobody would pay to see my show. Because it should be under PDA, probably, if there is one. Nope, Snagless Strategy. I don't think there's even options. So yeah, the only options is on the main menu, and that was, I think, only, hey, do you want stereo or mono? Hey, do you want rumble or not? Those are the only options in the entire game. 
unless the options menu is just hidden. That's kind of weird. Very odd to think that Pokemon Blue and Red had more options than this game. I think it's at the PC, weirdly. Everything's at the PC in this game. Why would they do this to me? But I don't think so, because isn't it only Pokemon item save? Well, let's see. Maybe it's up in the corner. It's like, hey, if you hit uh, X, you can active access the options menu. Well, let's see. Nope. Item storage save. Maybe I need to... Weird, huh? <laughs> no options nowhere. It feels so weird. Might be thinking of Gale of Darkness. Probably. If it's a sequel to this game, they probably bumped up, like, the various features and stuff. But so far, I've been really liking this, so I can't wait to get to, like, Gales of Darkness at some point. I'll have to see when it was released. Before or after Pokemon Platinum. Let's see, who do I want? I'm going to throw you in to try to get you some levels. You poor schmuck. You got bummed by that asshole, Cacnea. All six were defeated? Sheesh. What were those incompetents doing? This is where the buck stops. I'm gonna buck you up. Weeg? And of course it's a rock type and sand slash. I am never gonna be leveling up my Nova. And I can't even really send out my Nova because it's part flying type. The world is nothing but pain. Ah, uh, we'll just. Yawn at the Graveler, I suppose. We'll keep him out there and maybe he'll get some experience. Or he'll just die. Oh, a critical hit. Lots of experience for you, Nova. You actually get to live today. And a level up for Windy. Vibrava? Cool wings. I don't think I've ever seen you before in my life. Then again, you're so bug-like. I think you might- I think I just might assume you're just a normal thing. Like, a an anime-ified bug. <laughs> Which I guess you are. It's just like, you hardly- You motherfucker. You son of a bitch. And it fell asleep underground. And then it spawned back up here. What? <laughs> uh, your Pokemon fell asleep underground. We have to dig them back out for the, the, the legalities of battle. Cook that bug to death. Argle Blargle. Also, gotta say, that's some of a very fine f flamethrower animation. It looks so bright. Like it's overexposuring the camera of the game, and I like it. Level up for Theodore. Weeg, you put an end to me! Now that comes after I, uh, this is Sparta, you off the cliff. You made me lose. They're not going to hire me again after this. Let's see. Weirdly enough, Shadow Pokemon are shiny huntable. Yep, uh, there is a, a streamer, YouTuber that I watch sometimes. I forget what his name is, aside from Tom. Tom! And, uh, he was doing a shiny Quagsire hu uh, hunt in this game because he wants the most decorated, uh, Quagsire that exists. Which basically means 
suffering. He got to a hundred resets of the Shadow Quagsire before uh, stopping his stream. And that was without even trying any of the potentially wonky uh, RNG manipulation because Pyrite Town apparently has difficult RNG manipulation due to how Pyrite Town works. Hello. I guess we're all a little guilty of underestimating you. You've earned some respect. But I'll make you regret ever having come here. But also, don't uh, sh <laughs> Shadow Pokemon work in a weird way where if they're shiny on the battle screen, you're basically guaranteed to not get them shiny because of how they function. Because if I understand how it cr works, because of, like, the trainer ID thing, when you capture Shadow Pokemon, they leap over to you, and that changes the shiny RNG. So if you're hunting shiny Pokemon that are Shadow Pokemon, you have to check after you capture them. Ain't these game designers wonderful? Surf's up, dudes. Wah. Murder time. Bye-bye, idiot. Ooh. <laughs> it, like, washed away the dust skull. Coffin. Thunder shot. Such a visceral backlash. Now you're all alone, Cothane. No one will save you. Never mind, it's a Curlia. They've come to save you. We'll have to kill them. Thunderbolt! And bite the Curlia. Murder time! Explode that coffee. No self-destructs for you, if you even know that move in this game. So that's how we blew up the Snagum base. We used coffeens as suicide bombers. Why would you call mind? You're going to die next turn. You fool. You meringue. You thought you were safe, but it was I. Dioda! It's not in this game, weirdly. Maybe they just didn't want to... Because obviously they would have to program the Pokemon mechanics from scratch for this game. They can't use the same engine. Aside from... Well, it isn't right. I shouldn't lose. Aside from making it so that the Pokemon data can be Trevor... Uh, tra not... My brain is hooked on traveled. It's not traveled or traversed. Can be taken from this game and ported over to the normal Pokemon games. Like, it's obviously a completely different engine that they have to recreate everything, and they maybe just didn't want to... Like, uh, do we make self-destruct affect allied Pokemon? It's like, ah, oh, but that would be annoying. I shouldn't have battled you in the first place. That's a stanced-up guy up there! I see your legs! You've done well to get here, but there's no next battle for you after this. I'll destroy you. Thoroughly! What are you gonna do? Throw me into the floaty blades below? Oh hey, it's Baron! The evils have you wor warned me about! Geodude. Geodude. We are floating rocks with arms. He's the guy with the shadow Pokemon. I don't doubt it. He definitely looks like he'd have one. 
And also, my brain just went to a terrible place. My brain went, there's no way there's porn of Geodude. Not even the degenerates can think of that. But you never know. You can never underestimate the internet. Double KO. Thanks to the dude. <laughs> there is. Can confirm. Now I wonder what the ratio is. From like, the average furry bait Pokemon like Zoroark and Lucario versus Geodude. And just cotton spore him again, why don't we? And surf. <laughs> Unfortunately. Goodbye, Sand Slash. For, Theodore has just been carrying us this entire time. Theodore is the dude. Why are you so outrageously strong? I don't know. Type advantage, dude. 100 to 1. I could easily see 1,000 to 1, really. Don't get a swelled head just because you beat me. Master Dakim will deflate your pride real quick. Considering that I think... Pokemon is up there for, like, one of the most pornified franchises of all time on the internet. There's gotta be the kings and queens that are the most Rule 34'd out of all of them. And then the ones that, like, hardly anybody bothers to. Like, really, the only ones, there are some that are obviously only going to be included when the people do, like, challenges. We're like, I'm going to loot every single Pokemon uh, <laughs> according to the Pokedex. There's just some that you're never going to see in the wild. Zorark, Lucario, Gardevoir. You might accidentally stumble upon them. Floating through the ether of hell that is the internet and algorithms. Geodude, you have to search that out. Digimon. <laughs> Jirachi, yeah. Now that makes me wonder. The ratio of Digimon porn versus Pokemon porn. Because Renamon, up there. As furry bait queen of the internet for a while. Or have a friend who's into it. Yeah, then you might be exposed to it. Pokemon dominates. It is like the most popular franchise of all time, right? According to like the various sales and like stuff of everything. Sure, like Minecraft is the more popular single game and there's probably like Marvel and DC as like IPs, but Pokemon is just like a zeitgeist to itself. This guy scares me. And there's a guy in front of him. Or maybe he has three arms. Well, let's see. Fine. After all the persuading I did, you still won't hand it over. Hmm. <clears throat> this is what happens to stubborn oves who don't do as I say. <laughs> Just gut punch this guy. Gardevoir, Lopunny, Gothitelle. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yep. Fear the furry bait. It comes for us all. You treacherous swine! How could you refuse to battle? Uh... <laughs> treacherous. You didn't really think that a worm like you could win. All you had to do was hand over the time flute without making a fuss. It's your own fault for getting hurt. Since you're not cooperating, I don't have any choice but to haul you off to Ein's lab. Huh? What is with that face? I don't know what I was expecting, but... <laughs> I don't know. There's something with his face. Someone even exposed Milk Tank to me. I think that that one probably comes about due to repressed trauma from Whitney. From Generation 2. The only reason anyone... <laughs> well, that and cowgirls. Yeah, I could see that. Hmm. 
Who are you? What are you? What? What? I, my brain just could not read that sentence at all. What were my underlings doing? That outfit of yours. You must be the troublemaker who messed with Scrub in Celebi's forest. Also, he has a Pokemon, like a Pokeball necklace. The, isn't there like a guy in Generation 5 or something that does that? Nah. And now you've come to mess with me, the great Dakim. Don't make me laugh. I'll pound your lesson into your flesh and bones, so you'll never even think of bothering me again! He's a tribal stereotype. Alder, the Pokemon champion. Yeah, he's flexing on me! Literally! Matang and Golem. Matang. Lammy! Theodore, go! <laughs> Who ironically has the same hair. This makes me wonder if somebody, like, saw this guy and was like, hmm, I want to make good guy version. You cannot protect your darling Matang. No! And he protected himself. Because he's a bitch. Man, Matang and, like, Metagross's entire evolutionary line. Ah, oh, shit. That somehow didn't kill. And <laughs> protected itself. And surf again. Die, golem. Bye-bye, Matang. Oh, Manny, that means he's going to try and uh, Thunderbolt. Well, no, he'll throw out another Pokemon that we can try and Thunderbolt. Unless he dies. And he dies! More fodder. I feel like we could be great friends. Perhaps, perhaps. Social anxiety eats away at my soul. Okay, this guy's just a candy fountain of uh, leveling up for me. Yay. Oh, hey, Marshdom! You are going to ruin my day. And camera up. Of course. I've been outwitted. Well, we're going to basically have to let Lammy die because swapping is pain. Uh, or we could Thunder Wave. Maybe we can Thunder Wave you. Maybe we can Thunder Wave you. Surf. <laughs> Be ready. The level 40 Shadow Pokemon's going to come out to play soon. And doesn't affect. Lammy is gonna fucking die. That is horrifying. Yeah, water ground for Marsh Dump. Yeah, that's why I was just like, oh no. <laughs> and let's see. Uh, I guess I can throw Windy out there to maybe die. And like I said, my aces, Umbreon and Espeon, can come save me if things go bad. Haha, <laughs> bitch. Oh, you hit your friend! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! You're a fool! <laughs> Die for me, Windy! <laughs> and oddly enough... Well, you're on the cover, so I should have expected this! You're on the cover! I should have expected this! Um, um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, sleeping powder. Oh, boy. Yep, Earthquake hits everyone. That's not flying, enemy or not. Please go to sleep, pom, 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 pom. Please go to sleep, pom, 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 pom. Please go to sleep, pom. Hey, um, well, Nova's gonna be fucking replaced. <laughs> No, no, Nova! Like, I thought, like, oh yeah, level 40, it might be, like, something, but... A fucking legendary! This early? And it's mine for the taking. And I'm just gonna cotton spore you, and, uh... 
Uh, just because I can, I'm going to... Let's see. Eh, super potion. Especially Jump Bluff, who has sunny day support. That will work out really well. I keep forgetting that. I'm gonna slow you the fuck down. So that if you ever wake up, you only can get like one hit on me. Alright, uh... I guess Mega Drain just cause we can. And, uh, bite. And hope he doesn't get crit. He's super high level and it's a legendary. He shouldn't... That, that... <laughs> the, 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 the critical hit that did nothing. That's hilarious. It helps mitigate uh, Entei's water weakness and makes him basically only weak to ground. Super cool. Aw, oh, fuck. Oh, you're gonna kill ju my jump bluff, aren't you? My bitch! And my Lammy is dead. Uh. Nova, go die for me. You can yawn him! Yawn him! Nom nom nom. <laughs> well, I called Wendy dying. You did indeed. <laughs> like, the moment he woke up, I'm like, wait a minute, Wendy's a grass type. Oh no. <laughs> I could do a rock throw, but me scared. I'm gonna flamethrower instead. Because I just know the moment I do anything that's super effective, I'm gonna get a critical hit and he's gonna die. Oh no, that's typeless and deaf. Bye, Nova. You didn't even get to flamethrower him. Uh, tank time. I put up. I should have. I should have sent out Espeon for. Uh, Swift. Well, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna start throwing Ultra Balls. <laughs> you did tell Nova to die for you. I did. What is with me just running into the legendary dogs in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon in the Battle Frontier Tower? Three? Ha ha ha! That was oddly easy. Granted, like, three of my Pokemon died for it. Defeated Cypher Admin, Dakim. You meddlesome pest! He did as you asked. He did do as you asked. The way you handled those Pokemon with your audacious skill. Who are you? What was that run animation? Master Dakim! Ah, Scrub. You were hopelessly outclassed against him. You had zero chance of winning. I'm pulling out for now. You go to Ein's lab and help find. Help me out there. As you wish, sir. This isn't over yet. Stronger Pokemon are being made, even now. You'd better get serious about training your Pokemon for our next meeting. <laughs> what the fuck? Did, did, did he just reverse backdash the fuck out of here? Yeah, sleep makes the chances increase significantly, but still. Oh, I found the fuck disc. I'm gonna go, uh... Wait, wait, where are you going? We can't just leave this person. My Pokemon are dying, Rui! <laughs> Takim is literally Hulk in this game. Oh, that wasn't an experience I'd ever want to have again. I'm glad you came to my rescue. Thank you. I'm Vander. I'm an area leader here at Mount Battle. I'm Rui, and this is Neon. We're glad to see you. Rui explained everything that had happened to Vander. Hmm, what you've told me explained a lot. Thanks to you, I know exactly why they attacked us. 
This is the time flute. I happened to find it a while uh, while I was on my training trek. It said that the time flute will summon Celebi, but just once. There must be something about Celebi that frightens them. They obviously don't want Celebi to encounter Shadow Pokemon. But let's not spend any more time here. Let's go back. My Pokemon are dying, Rui. I need to leave. Exactly. We must participate in more blood sports. <laughs> but here, I want you to have this. I obtained the time flute. Are you certain? May we really have something this precious? I'm not sure if you noticed this, but I got my ass kicked, and uh, you kicked his ass. I think it's much safer with you. If I don't, that Hulk guy is going to come back and power dr pile drive me off a cliff. Of course you may. I'd rather have you use that time flute than have those crooks take it by force. Use it and save the shadow Pokemon from their sinister plans. Neat. I found a TM-47. Now I can assassinate people. It was terrifying, but I always believed that we'd be saved. Anyways, I shouldn't be chatting. I have my job to do. We are immediately adding Intei to our team. Nova is being sidelined. Granted, it, it, it doesn't help that poor, poor Nova just got set up against a bunch of, like, type advantages that were bad for him. Come to me. Entei! I've always really liked the legendary dogs. Or, like, legendary beasts. What, wasn't there, like, a diddly d thing where it kind of came out that the legendary beasts are, like, based on both dogs and cats or something like that at some point? I don't know. Come to me! He's mine now. Time flutes are single use. Uh, there are three natively in the game. Huh. You two are amazing. It's great that you saved Vander and got rewarded with the time flute. I've heard that you can summon Celebi with it in the Relic Forest. Okay, when training resumed, I'm going to aim to beat nine trainers in a row. I doubt that I'd go farther since the tenth trainer is Vander. <laughs> so basically. The game is telling me, Go summon Celebi. Go summon Celebi. Go summon Celebi. Uh, 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 uh. We must go and summon Celebi. Those trainers who'd taken over Mount Battle went off running. What happened inside there, I wonder? Me. Huh? You made the bad guys run off? That's so hard to believe. I'm sorry, but I want to see the proof of my own eyes. Oh, bitch. You won't fight them, but you'll fight me? You coward. Not really. There are multiple ex options now. I would recommend grinding at Mount Battle. Okie doke. Although I do kind of want to check out, like, the pre-gym. Let's see. Surf time. I do, again, that the quick attack effect is cool. But I think what we'll do is... We'll go see if we can beat Justy. And, uh... Then maybe stop, because we're almost reaching four hours. Fennec is currently in your level range of mostly full level 40s. It's very cool. And yeah, we can also do, like, the Finac bibbidi Ba Coliseum Challenge, even though we'll have to trade out Entei, because Rui's like, we should use only normal Pokemon. You dare call Entei not normal? He's a dear friend. Pikachu! He's trying to kill my alligator! Om nom nom. Blast. Damn it. Thunderbolt! Meh. Oh, it's so sad to have failed. I just remembered I forgot to give anybody 
my EXP share. I'm convinced now! Everybody goes into just a catatonic mental breakdown when I win. You'd be able to protect the world's peace, I bet. Which is hilarious, because I think I heard, maybe, that, like, an original plan was to have Wes, like, come back in Gale of Darkness and be, like, a villain or something, I think I heard. So it's like, you could protect the world's peace. Comes back next game. I'm the villain now. So let's see. We are going to go to uh, Fennec. Heal. And fight Justy. Because I think we'll be able to beat him. Since we won't have to worry about uh, saving a shadow Pokemon for capture. Because let's see. I remember... When I went to fight him when I was lost and thinking like, Oh, maybe I, I got a team of six now here in Pyrite Town. Maybe I can go and uh, beat up uh, Justy now. So I I remember he had a Cacnea. I remember he had a Sandshrew. I remember he had an Azumarill. And I think that's when I died. Uh, do you want to purify Entei first? Uh, can we? Because he is uh, tightly shut. So we need to, like, level down his diddly-duh if we want anything to go. So we'll use him in the fight against Justy. <laughs> He'll be our beefcake. Time Flute allows you to purify him now. Hmm. And he is a legendary. So out of all of them, he'd be the most worthwhile to use the time flute for. At the very least, I can go save an Agate Town, then try it and see. Oh, Rui, I heard there was a big commotion on Mount Battle. Eakon's worried sick about you. Quick, hurry home and reassure him that you're safe and sound. Not yet. <laughs> we have to save and then talk to the guy who's staring at the thing. And here I thought the flute would just be like, Hey, would you like to capture Celebi? In fact, that reminds me, isn't there like a Gales of XD... Gales of XD? Gales of Darkness XD special Jirachi or something? I forget. Do you want me to go talk to Eagon first? Fidget, fidget. Ah, Neon and Rui, too. I'm glad to see that you're okay. What wait, could it be? Isn't that the time flute? They say that you can call Celebi using that time flute. But I've heard that you can call Celebi only once. I'd be careful using the time flute if I were you. Hmm. And is that all that it's good for, the time flute? It's just good for calling Celebi down to instantly par uh, purify a single Pokemon. And there's nothing else to it, right? Because <laughs> this guy here is like, you should be really careful. Yep, all right. If it's just call down Celebi for instant purification and nothing else, I'll do it for Entei. <laughs> the mystical relic, it seems to be gaining off a strange, fantastic power. I assume it's going to be key item. It actually isn't. That's amusing. Use. I want it on Intei. That's a neat jingle. Celebi! Purify this good doggo cat. Intei. Regain the move, sunny day. No experience points. And obtained a ribbon. What should we rename you? Hmm. Meh, yeah, screw it. I shall name you the only the most fitting thing. 
You are father. Because of the Pokemon... Three, the third movie? I forget. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Where's the T? No, that's not what I want. Fool. Fool, that is me. You are father. Don't go uh, creating any homunculi. Come along, father. I cured your your evil cancer. Let's go beat up a guy at the pre-gym. Well, first we'll go inform Eogun that everything is good. He'll probably be like, you should go here now. And I'm going to be like, nah. I'm going to go and <laughs> freaking talk to Justin and be like, I am a god now and I'm here to kill you. I'm not the only one who's seen Pokemon 2000. I like, like, uh, Pokemon the first movie with Mewtwo. Great. Pokemon 2000 with Lugia. Love that movie. Pokemon... Uh, I, I forget. I think it's just called Pokemon 3 with Entei. That was good. Pokemon... I forget what... It's like something 4, because it came to like a naming, naming scheme with Celebi and Suicune. That was really fun. Really liked that one. And then I... It's been a while since I've watched other ones. I need to watch more Pokemon movies. Ah, you're home. Are you okay? You're not hurt in any way? Ah, Rui and Neon. It's good to see you back. So, how goes it? Have you trounced the Cratons that raided Mount Battle? I expected nothing less of my own granddaughter. And of course, Neon. Hmm, I see. So Vander conferred the time flute upon you. How do you know? We just used it. So basically, old Pokemon movies kicked butt. They did. Old Pokemon movies are good. <laughs> like, even if, like, the, like, uh, four kids dubbing can be weird sometimes, at the same time, no matter how, like, 2000s it was, Brother My Brother is a banger of a song. Brother, my brother, tell me what are we fighting for? I'll have that in this war. It's been a while. Depart for Relic Forest and summon Celebi at once. I wonder what will happen if I find it quite exciting. Oh, you already summoned Celebi. You should tell me these important things first. Ah, yes, that's something I'd forgotten. Neon, may I have the number of your PD, uh, thing? I gave you my number. Good, I'll try to reach you at this number if anything happens. This makes us pen pals. <laughs> But another funny thing, like, kind of related to old Pokemon. I remember an interesting thing happening with, uh, like, the copyright to Mewtwo. Where when they wanted to, like, use Mewtwo again, the estate for, like, the original writer of Pokemon movies in the Pokemon anime. I forget what, uh, he also, like, wrote, oh yeah, he also, like, wrote, uh, what was that cursed anime that... People think that whenever the final episode with the magical girl princess getting run over by Kamen Rider toys, an earthquake always happens. He wrote that. and uh, But he passed away, sadly. And But because of the contract, he technically owns the representation of original Mewtwo. So when it was like uh, Pokemon and Gen Genesect something to power, they wanted to use uh, Mewtwo, but they couldn't use that Mewtwo. So they had to basically speedrun a new Mewtwo. And apparently people didn't like her. Uh, but I follow a few, like, Tumblr blogs. Art blogs that tell little stories through comics. And they call her Mewtwo. And I love her. Mewtwo deserves respect. <laughs> Brock being the most horny Pokemon trainer is always going to be a funny thing. Well, you know, he did want to be a Pokemon breeder. I think I'll keep the, this team out in front. So he can nuke down the Cacnea. He can nuke down the Bloody Sand Slash. And we'll move around from there. So what's up? Would you like to have a rematch? Yes. Okay, gotcha. He beat my ass before, but I'm here for revenge. Go for it. I'll be right here cheering. I need to draw more Pokemon. 
Maybe I need to make a special PNG tuber that's just like an Eevee. Or a Sneasel. Like, there's so many good Pokemon. Okay, let's get this battle underway. Show me a great battle. Having that pre-gym leader be one word is weird. It makes me want to say pregum. He is being a mean motherfucker. He's using a different lineup. But we'll power through. My favorites are Pikachu and Gengar. Those are good choices. Fire blast that motherfucker into oblivion. Fire blast. That is overkill and I love it. But yeah, I need to like watch more of the Pokemon movies. Oh yeah, Gligar, I forgot that you existed. Maybe I need to also like rewatch some of the Pokemon anime. That's been a while. Let's see, Gligar is a dark type. And isn't he weird? Like, I assume he's a flying type, but my uh, Lammy Lamb will do good either way. Hmm. I'm gonna bite Gligar and see how that works. Feel things out. Go, Lammy, annihilate some motherfuckers. Did you know that Pokemon manga is ultra dark? I think, like, there's been multiple different ones, I think. Because there's, like... Ba-ba-ba. Bah, bah, bah. I know there's, like, the kind of gag manga where it's, like, using Clefairy, I think. Because Clefairy was originally meant to be the mascot of Pokemon, then Pikachu rose to the top. Then there was, like, yeah, the normal Pokemon manga that just got censored a lot because like super skimpy like uh misty and just like a ton of things oh yeah and like the brutal bisecting of an arbok zombie pokemon the original pokemon manga where lieutenant surge is a pokemon smuggler wow <laughs> oh my god that's actually kind of super dark because uh, I recently was replaying Far Cry 2, underrated gym if you ask me. And the main one of the main characters of that game that you interact with is called the Jackal, who was an ex-military guy who through the military got into the art of smuggling guns. So <laughs> Surge is smuggling arms, aka Pokémon as weapons. <laughs> That is hilariously dark and fitting. Good for you, Windy. Sand Shrew. Oh, it doesn't affect Gliger. We need to get we need to get Flaffy out of there, man. My lammy lammy. But also that means that kind of implies that, yeah, Pokemon are considered weapons. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. And I'm just gonna send you out there to start swifting. Oh yeah, and Magikarp are being murdered in the Elite Four trying to kill a child twice? <laughs> and here's me just like, why can't my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games be this emotionally intense and dark? They're like, oh, well, it's like uh, the actual games. We can't be that dark. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me now. <laughs> Feed me the dark. Yeah, double team all you want. I'm going to swift you all to death. I'm going to swoosh right in. It's been a while since I've used one of my dogs. Time for murder. 
But then again, also sometimes the actual Pokemon games can get a little dark, like uh, like uh, the Slowpoke Tales. We have to keep them alive. <laughs> Do you like my Pika Glock? Aerial Ace, bleh. <laughs> Pull out a Pikachu. Would you like to murder? <laughs> that reminds me of that Tumblr post where, like, somebody's at a drive through and, like, all right, sir, uh, do you need anything else? Like, wait one moment. Pulls out a mirror that has Michael Jackson's face in it. It's like, like... Get the breadsticks. You need the strength for the coming days. <laughs> and the death of Lysander, that is literally ignored because underdeveloped villain needed death. Such is the way of life and pain. We're going to swap you out and throw Father back in. So we can burn that sunflower alive. I forgot that you're a bitch and that you heal. You coward. I think I read a fanfic where Lysander got, like, resurrected as an Entei. As, like, a side plot point. It wasn't even the main thing. It just happened at one point. <laughs> it's just a thing to do. That amuses me. Eh, might as well try. It's probably dark type. Meh. Fire blast. Yeah. Oh, it's attacked mist. Yeah, you bastard. What do you want to pick up a game? We used only evasion once, you whore. These motherfuckers. Evading my ass. We need to throw a bomb at them. But all my moves are baby. God, it's like its neck is being taken away. Please kill the sun, Flora. Lysandra is also brought back via alternate timelines in Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon, where he succeeds. Yeah, because that was like the Rainbow Rocket alternate universe thing. Please kill? Yes, murder him. Now you're all alone, you stupid. Stupid bat. You motherfucker. You're all alone. You better not throw another one out. You motherfucker. Well, I'm going to keep swifting. And I guess I'll uh, move Theodore out. to uh, try and get rid of that nose pass. Keep being swifty. <laughs> well, Sandra's theme in extra Y starts with barely a noticeable gunshot, where his Ultra Sun and Moon incarnation theme starts with a laser noise. Very subtle, but very dark. That is amusing. <laughs> it's not very effective, Billy. Aerial Ace, bleh. Why are you the evasion man? Why are you the evasion man? Can an evasion can? He is here to torture my soul. Nothing but torture my soul. You're not the only one that can super potion, you, you fucker. Sir! Okay, using two in a row, dude? He pulled the trigger next from Y, where he fails and succeeds in the alt timeline, showing his insanity should he have succeeded. Canon timelines are great. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of... <laughs> Man. Pokemon games. I, you just have to wonder, if they went, like, full-on dark, where would they go? Probably close to, like, the actual 
manga. Here, have some zombies. Here, have an Arbok just getting bisected. And somehow the Arbok lived? Aerial Ace! I'm just, I'm just so annoyed by him using two super potions on the same Mon. Haha, <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs> Extensive medical care. Well, that is that is kind of canon to Pokemon. <laughs> that is kind of canon to the Pokemon universe. Magnitude 7? That did nothing. That did nothing. I thought magnitude was scary. What? <laughs> what? We'll keep surfing, we'll keep swifting, and then we will murder you. And Justy is there, just like, oh god, oh no. They're getting through my evasion tactics. Okay, that's a cool fainting animation, because it's a compass pointing north and it freaks out. That's cool. I defeated you. What? What? Your shenanigans. Your actual tactics tryharding. You failed. Because I ungabunga. Wow. That was one challenging and satisfying battle. Look at this. My palms are drenched with sweat. There's no shame in this loss. I'm one lucky guy for being part of this spectacular battle. And that's all I get. I'm glad that I got the opportunity to battle with you. I want you to have this. Consider it a memento of our battle. I obtained the TM! Honestly, our battle was fantastic. I will never forget the battle we had. Huzzah! Ha, money! Money is good. And a TM. But I think that will be it for now. We are about five hours in. I will save, heal, and the next time we'll open up, try the challenge here in Finnick. Maybe touch base with the mayor, see if he's evil, and uh, yeah, just see about going where we need to go next time. It's return. I don't know how good return is. I like never use TMs, so I don't know if their moves are good or not. I'm like, I have to use this to know what it is and how it works and stuff, so I won't use it. A hundred and five base attack. I might have to consider using it then. <laughs> that seems good. But yeah, this is really good. That was a lot of fun. We managed a lot of progress. We purified everyone. We beat Mirror B. We beat freaking Pokemon Hulk. And uh, we got Entei. Which, yeah, I, I kind of was wondering, huh, why are the legendary dogs on the cover? And then, huh, great with Dunsparce with max defection. Huh. Wait a minute, don't I already kind of have return? Because, uh, Espeon. Don't you already have it? I'm dumb. Yeah, you already have return. It's attack that increases in the power of friendship, but doesn't say that it has a base power. Hmm, interesting. So I wonder if it's lying to me. But yeah, again, the music's good. Like, uh, our character has no character, which I... You'd think that a character with this design and backstory of being a terroristic rebel against his own criminal organization who has come to steal Pokemon from criminals would, like, have more input on the plot. Instead, it's just like, well, I'm gonna go beat up this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, you can challenge the Pyrite Cave enemy with no issue now. Then I'll definitely try to remember that. Next time, we will take the Finnec Coliseum challenge, see what's down there in the Pyrite Cave, and then see about continuing the story. Well, I'll need to remember that. But yeah, this game is really fun. I'm really liking it. The only annoying parts have mostly been when I didn't know where to go, because I was a fool. When's the next stream? 
I'll see if I can manage it tomorrow, but I'll probably take a break from Christmas. For Christmas. Like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. And then maybe on the 26th might stream again. I need to set an actual schedule, but that throws up the anxiety and the mental blocks and my brain sabotaging myself. So I mostly just go, should I stream today? And then at my regular time of uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, I go live. So yeah. But I, but I run on vibes because I'm a fool. If I was smart, I would actually stick to a schedule. But everything is, every single time I try, the world hurts me. Uh. Uh. But, yeah. Again, game really fun. I wonder how long it is. I'll have to look up how long to beat just to get a vibe. But, yeah, this is fun. Can't wait to play more. And, uh, yeah, then I'll have to decide what to play afterwards. I'm kind of motivated to play maybe Explorers of Sky Pokemon Mystery Dungeon just because that's on my brain. And I'm being consumed by Pokemon Mystery Dungeon again. It's like, come on. Rejoin the fold. But who knows? We might go back to Ace Attorney Trilogy. Might jump back a bit to Jedi Fallen Order, uh, Breath of the Wild. Lots of options. But yes, but yes, thank you for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, all of whatever I do can be found through my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. So, edited content scripts and videos on YouTube, streams and the stream VODs uploaded for posterity on YouTube or Twitch. Well, not uploaded to Twitch. You can't really do that. Or can you? I don't know. Twitch is weird. Art that I upload to various sites similar to my little character in the corner. I've been sketching a Hisuian Zoroark that I need to post sometime. After I color it. Need to remember to post it. Brain. As well as I also do writing of various things. I need to do more original writing, but fanfiction is fun. And then also, if you feel kind, you can also throw a dollar and do my way through Patreon to stave off the darkness of my own heart. Jokity joke. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye bye.